So, recap, what happened last week? Recap. We ruined Josh's game. We got sent to <laughs> Indiana <laughs> to stop a bank robbery. A Nova bank robbery. I think it was, Iowa. was Ohio. You guys were in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> you think you can fucking tell the difference? <laughs> Your mask. Said Iowa, I said Ohio, you said Indiana. Who cares? <laughs> Your mask is perfect for saying that we stopped a bank robbery, by the mm-hmm. way. Yeah. You did stop a bank robbery because yeah. you ate everything they were trying to steal. Can't steal that shit. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's all a part of me now. Yeah, let's see. We were sent there to stop them. They were obviously trying to take something specific out of the bank in the lockboxes. They weren't there for money. They were there for some information on some kind of electronic device that Brian decided to destroy every bit of it. So we will never know. They were going to get away. <laughs> we have True. ruined your... Well, it's not quite a red herring. It was an actual storyline. Gone now. We, we ruined my free little bird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, going to Illinois was fucking substitute teacher shit. That's not our business. That's somebody else's storyline. Yeah, now it is. Sweet. Yeah. And then after that, to try to resurrect a, a piece, a hope from anything, you had my contact Derek Hayes, the general, call me. We're, it's something else now. Dookie We're Hayes. I know. Storyline. It's just a new. Thing, yeah. To try to resurrect part of your hope, I it's, guess. No, it's a, that one died. <laughs> it's over now. We're gonna go do something. You don't else. have any hope left in your heart. Not for that first one. Can I destroy more hope? Yes. <laughs> yes. Give you the opportunity today. <laughs> I'm in. And he wants us to go to <laughs> Southern Africa to fight super Apartheid. terrorists or something. No, we don't know actually who. why. He, he didn't even said, say what. He said, "Are you in?" Yeah, that was it. And yeah. You had to say yes before. And he said, you "All you want is money, um, dude. Yeah, what do you think we're here for? We're not here for the charity of our hearts. Like we don't care. We want money. Well, right. One money. of us is here for charity, but oh, he <laughs> actually did want to give money to charity. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you do a charity of my name. Money. Yep. I'm here for the Euphaber. Don't you have Euphaber? Oh, more. How much do you have? One. Oh, yeah. You need more. I mean. <laughs> You guys are talking about Soak. I have 8-5. Yep. I mean, I have 10-7 or something. Ten yeah, but you can literally be decapitated and still be good. Yeah. Yep. I mean. Yeah, you got one up on everyone. <laughs> That's why they call them unstoppable. It's not because they can't decapitate them. It's because it just doesn't, it doesn't stick. That doesn't, doesn't stop. <laughs> right. Now there's two of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my head's over there. The rest of me is still going. Oh yeah, mute your phones. I almost forgot. You have body mod, right? <laughs> um, yes. Okay. For uh, extra body bits and whatever. You might at some point actually want to spend it so that your organs are dispersed in your body. You can do that too. Mm-hmm. There was there was another one. I don't remember if it was body mod or an, an extra in something like that. But yeah, we're. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can find it, but yeah, there was something else where like all level. of your organs can be almost like yeah on a cellular level. They're just so dispersed. you're just every every atom of you is your phylactery. Yep, basically, and you probably want that. Oh, well, for sure, it would definitely keep you from having issues. He wants quantum six. No, oh, that too. Yeah, no <laughs> quantum. Quantum. The only reason I didn't go for the quantum sprint is because nothing I do scales off of it. Right. Well, I mean, homunculus gets a little better, basically, but not that much. I mean, yeah, it increases my base power, but nothing scales off of it. No damage, no ability to divide, no anything. Yeah, mine don't do anything either. My fly multiplier would oh, go up. Your extra health level is actually here because you have duplicates of some or all of your important organs. Mm-hmm. So that's probably close enough. Because you bought extra health levels, right? Yep. Yeah, but there is, uh, I want to say it was in the other book, maybe the player's one. Oh, yeah. I um, read that too much. That there's a cool ability in there where you can use your Euphibur like Spawn does. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah, there's a couple cool things in there. So you sure I haven't books. taken a really good look at it yet. Not for years, anyways. All right, so you guys decided you needed downtime. 
Yeah, he gave yep. us four hours. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> on. For regular human beings are Down horrible, dive. but for Novas, you guys could be awake for multiple days with no ill effects. Mm -hmm. You all have mega stamina. I am so hurt right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <Yeah>. unfortunate. <laughs> I have to look at healing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what it is. There's, homunculus has an extra in the player's guide. Detachable organs. The character can remove some or all of her organs, which behave like independent limbs as part of the usual homunculus rules. The character suffers no metabolic or other problems for doing this, but damage to the organs while removed affects them just like a targeted attack at the organ usually does. Ugh, that's so be, bad. Why would you want that? Put it in a lockbox? Yeah, I'd be like, uh, put the heart over there. I guess. Okay, now, <laughs> now stake me. <laughs> but, I mean, sure. But when I, when you can just have multiple hearts, it right. doesn't, doesn't really matter as much. Yeah. Especially not for the cost of an extra on a fucking level three power. Level three power, yeah. Yeah, yeah some of the monkey seems a little weird to me. It's not. It's not on the same scale as a lot of the other things. I'm making it Unless work. Unless we're doing it wrong. Probably. Probably mm -hmm. doing a lot of things wrong. Yeah, undoubtedly. Anybody figure out if throw is athletics or brawl? It's whatever you want, man. I didn't look it up. I'm going to say athletics. Sweet. All Strength right. in athletics or dex in athletics? Mm -hmm. Athletics is oh, under no, no, no. dex, throw which is weird. Throw is athletics. I'm going to say it's de dex and athletics to hit the person, but how far you can throw is based on your strength. That's what I thought you wanted to we'll look do it up that was way. if it was strength or dex. Oh, but sure. But it is athletics. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> We'll just say it's dex to hit what you want to hit. Like, you might be able to huck it into outer space, but you need to be able to accurately target what you're looking for. Yep, which makes sense, too, with, like, firearms, where you have to be able to aim. Right. But firearms... Unless you've got, like, so. AoE. If you throw a city bus, you just throw the bus. <laughs> I don't know how much the aim matters. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> how much does your dex matter? You probably <laughs> still have to hit it. I would say buses aren't very aerodynamic. Oh, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> they, they clean out everything. Yeah. I think I have one day recovery since I'm in the bruised lethal. Maybe they have like that. I heal for buses faster. Due to this. You heal a lot faster. Oh, yeah. I'm like following what's his nuts around. Something eight times as fast. I have two mega right now. Oh, the Dookie Hayes. Commander. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with your other pieces yet? Did you do that? Um. Telepathy. Telepathy self, one dot. That must have been, that's the other thing I bought, apparently. Cool. All right. So, yeah, as long as it's close, you can. Sweet. Yeah, let me look up that. Yeah, look up telepathy. I need to know if you just talk to it or if you can see through it or what that means. Four times faster. So I'm going to ask for six hours of <laughs> downtime. <laughs> okay. Yes. So it was funny. I was look, trying to look up buses, a thrown item kind of thing. They have and it in there. I know, but the first thing I came across was vehicle chart. I'm like, perfect. Uh, let's see. Safe speed, max speed, maneuvers, passengers. Nope, that's not actually what I want. No, I just want damage. <laughs> yep. Because. Okay, yeah, you get higher accuracy bonus for larger vehicles. There's. Oh, really? It looks like it. I don't know what SAM is. It says SAM portable and SAM vehicle. Those are um, anti-missile. Oh, never yeah, mind. Those are actually missile. SAM. Surface to air missile. Oh, yeah. Air missiles. Oh, my God. Uh, never mind. Be, uh, Accuracy a big is setup there. for us. You can't just walk around. Well, you could walk around with it, but it would be awkward. Yeah. yeah never you mind. walk around with the car, some of you. Yeah. Yeah. I have mega strength three now. Yes, your beefcake. I got lifter, and I took the quantum leap because apparently I can leap mm. faster than I can run in combat. It's insane. I yeah. guess so. I can leap. God, what was it? Mega strength three. It's ridiculous how it's like far kilometers you can go. and shit. Yeah. Let me look it up because that's going to come into play. Actually, <laughs> I hope not this game, but we'll see. I mean, originally Superman didn't fly; he just leaped, jumped. Yep. Each success on a jumping roll, on a jumping roll, allows me to leap up to two kilometers horizontally. There you go. That's pretty intense. Or half a kilometer vertically times the number of mega dots and strength or mega strength. So, what's your soak? 
Like ten something. Okay. And you, so if you leap straight up, you probably won't harm yourself. Uh, it is lethal. And you, end you up do at, take... How many dice is... You get half out? your soak from falling from a lethal height. So you can fuck yourself up by jumping straight up. I would have like four soak, and you roll ten dice. Right. So I could also take negative damage, apparently. I could heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. That's what you need to do instead of resting. <laughs> well, if you roll really <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can botch on a damage roll. That's good. Because I could. <laughs> so there are four powers that come with telepathy, and none of them are intended for what we're using it for. Sweet. Hit me. <laughs> Uh, telepathy can do can read another's mind and talk to them mentally, sense other minds and alter another person's memories. Yada 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 can be used to read and communicate within any mind within range, provided Anova can establish a line of sight. Uh, the character whose mind is being read is automatically aware of the fact and of who's doing the reading. Yada yada yada. Thus, with five successes, you could find and read five facts per action. Uh, the storyteller may rule that some of the facts are so well hidden that multiple successes, blah, 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 blah. How yeah. far away? That one, that piece was in line of sight. However, telepathy can also be used to scan for another person's mind or mental signature. The telepath may find a specific mind at variable distance, yada, yada, yada. And that one, success is one, is two kilometers. Okay. Up to five, 200, no, 20,000 kilometers. Okay, so we'll say right now that so as long a, as you like establish eye contact with a piece of you as it runs off, which I'm going to say is automatic, that you can hang on to it for that distance, right? <laughs> right? You can hang on to it for that distance. Yeah. So and it, but you took it downgraded, so it's only you, yeah, right? I, I, yes, yeah, I cannot you just randomly, you. right, pull on people's minds. Or yes. I, I also can't uh, cast domination or mental blast through it, which apparently is part of it. Ooh. I can't alter people's memories or repl replace fake memories with it. So that thing's fucked up. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Like, Good to know. But yeah, I just want to be able to... You just made a new villain for him. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't got that covered, at least for this game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm already playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in my mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I took one down to that. <laughs> right. Okay. So the you that is following him is shaped like what? You tried to make uh, it a fly. House fly. But I don't know if you can make it exactly a fly. Did we talk about that? You said fuck it, who cares? Okay, it's a fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it looks like a horse fly instead of a house fly. Yeah, I think if you had shape shift you could do it. Alright, I'll get some fucking shape shift. <laughs> <laughs> we get a little dot in this too. <laughs> yeah, wow. right, yeah. So right now it's just like it's a little chunk of you that flies. Right? Okay. That's fucked up too. I mean <laughs> <laughs> But do you want to be like a little insect like creature, a little human like creature? No, oh insect like <laughs> Okay. So it I want look, it, it under It doesn't look like a fly. You could make okay. cherubs. Yes. <laughs> that little baby pieces of you. <laughs> that's that's what I do with like the bigger chunks. I can split into ten cherubs. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> ten We've gone away from superheroes. Fuck that. We're just <laughs> we harmonize with ourselves. <laughs> I guess you could. <laughs> that's creepy. Um, yeah. So it's following him, and you can't see what it sees, but you can like talk to it. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I think possession is a power somewhere. It would be an extra of telepathy. That sure. would be really cool. <laughs> I mean, I need 19 more powers. <laughs> right, right. Um, Just one dot and everything. And it's following him and it's thinking about what he's saying. It's like, you know, how he's talking about eating. He's stopping by the mess hall. He's saying hi to some people. He's going back to his room. Should I try to get into his room? Sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a dexterity and stealth roll if you want to get into the room without being seen. So, let's see, four, seven, seven, cut in half. I want to spend willpower, but the whole point behind this is to get willpower back, so let's see. No. No. <laughs> so, uh, very no. Did you bodge? Yes. Nice. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, uh oh, he spotted me. <laughs> Should I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Abort. Okay. So it's like, all right, I'm running. I'm running. Oh no, he's closed the door. I can't get out. Ow, it hurts. Hi. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> and then it's off. Going to the vent. Offline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a weird pastime. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with the one in the murder hole? No. Oh. I didn't establish that connection. Doesn't matter. Even if you did, it's too far away. <laughs> Not 20,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably like it's too far Uganda away. or something. It's very too far away. We're on the moon base or yeah, something. Yeah, I was like, where, where is 20,000 kilometers? I don't even know. How, how far is... That's pretty far. <laughs> yep. You sure that's not worldwide coverage? It might be. 20,000 kilometers will be what? 12, 11,000 miles? It might be worldwide coverage. It doesn't matter. It's too far away. It is the moon, baby. <laughs> it's 12, <laughs> maybe. 12 and a half thousand miles. I like how we have to convert everything to figure out. Yeah, because we don't understand. So it's miles, three, like... four times. No, it's about three times the circumference of the Earth. Yep. That makes sense. Oh, Ooh, I got a fun fact for you. Sure. How much larger is the sun than the planet Earth? 400. That was quick. One no, million <laughs> Earth's times larger than the Earth. sun? Yeah. I mean... That's crazy. It has to be That's huge because it's holding all the planets in stable orbit. So yeah. it's so crazy. far away. Yeah, when I heard that, I was like, It's got to be disgusting. Yeah. I had to look that fact up. It's like, That's a lot. And you consider how <laughs> much larger like, Jupiter is? And then you realize that the sun makes up greater than 99% of the mass in the solar system. Yeah. Everything else is dust bits. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, flex. The fun thing about it is you're used to seeing all those like science things where it's like, this is the sun and this is the earth and everything. That is definitely not to scale. No. <laughs> like, if you actually like, look at this it. This is the sun. This is the earth. Yeah. It's like, I think a good way that people would put it is the sun is a basketball and you are the tip of of a needle on a pin. The, right. That's the Earth. And then you think about it in 3D. Right. Uh, how many As ends a of a pin needle? What's always been interesting to me is that, that most of the orbits around the sun are pretty much on the same plane, more or less. Mm -hmm. That's always seemed really weird. Like, why aren't some like this and some like this? Like oh, if, you mean like some going this way and some yeah. going that way? Yep. Why is it all more or less on the same plane? I mean, I, some are a little tilted, but not much. I mean, the basically, it's the whole thing is spinning, and so just like if you were to take any liquid and spin, it's just going to. Well, why do they the all sit on the same plane? Why aren't some over here? Because of how fast it's going, probably around it. Why? I mean, like you know, if if the whole thing is spinning, why is it only spinning in one dimension? I don't want to think in four D. Well, if you're if you took two ropes with like tennis balls on the end and spun them together, not, none of them are going to go up. The trajectory is going to bring them. Think about a magnet centripetal force. I would say, like, <clears throat> it's going to force it to get inside the spot where it's least affected. I would assume Sunday morning science, where we're kind of trying to put it together. Yeah, like, we yeah, don't we're really not, have the answer. We don't have the answer, but we're trying to put it together. <laughs> this is why okay. you've all tuned in, folks. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then yeah moving, superhero. And when you draw the paths, it actually looks like a corkscrew. I mean, you, really? The sun's going someplace? I guess that, yeah, yeah we're, <laughs> expansion's still happening. We're and just, the sun is traveling in a circle around the center of the galaxy. So and it's all moving outward. <laughs> Earth is well, that too. going like this through space. Space makes Weird. you really think, like, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm so insane. I like to think about what would happen if there were two stars and a planet was zipping between them. Would it do a figure eight? Would it just eventually suck into one of the stars? M most of the time, probably. But could you get an orbit that was doing this? Maybe. I've never heard of a figure eight configuration. Could it happen, though? Probably. I think the suns would eat each other. They would eventually come together. Yeah. 
But on what scale? Like, would it happen like in a day or in a million years? But there, there are oh, definitely millions of years. There are definitely <laughs> binary star systems. Right. I would imagine if any of them have planets or planet-like objects, the suns would basically be orbiting around each other, and the planets are out here. Yeah. So around, around both there. the suns. Yeah. So then, would the orbit be super elliptical, or it'd probably be wonky? But it would probably be. I mean, ours is elliptical. It would probably right. still have to be. The seasons would be so Otherwise, extreme. it just will eventually run into seasons something. would be super weird. Yeah, because when you're out here, it would be normal. And then when you get close and in between the two suns, it would I be... I hope you'd never go in between. Yeah, I don't suns. think you'd ever go in between. Even if you went past them. That, that's where things would get real wild. Yeah. If yeah. you went in between, there would be only daytime. And it would be extra if, summer. If mm-hmm. that was the case, there wouldn't be any habitable planets at that point. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't if be the, habitable. If the elliptical was large enough... Oh, never mind. We're getting into weird shit. <laughs> Anyways. Back Anyways. To is anyone out there an astrophysicist? <laughs> yeah. Can you because we're making this shit up. Inquiring minds want to know. If I remember right, it's like a 12% or a 12 degree shift is the difference between summer and winter for us. Oh, so, we have a 23 degree. Is it 23? Oh. Uh, okay. Tilt. Path. Yeah. I also found out recently that our North Pole is running away from the North pretty quickly. A magnetic North Pole. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's been a thing. Yeah, I mean, so we're gonna swap sides at some point. All right, it's eight oh seven. We should start, Sorry. Josh. Whatever you're clicking, yeah. <laughs> unclick. Got it. There you go. Yeah. Thank right. you for your input, chat, on some planetary knowledge. We have some people with some planetary knowledge. That's good because nice. I have none. We're have probably like, like just making you sad and face <laughs> palm at this point. Like, yep. What the hell are these guys <laughs> talking about? Right. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're like on a plate, <laughs> and the, the sun is. <laughs> So you can have as many suns up there as you want. <laughs> right. And this is it's cool. It's fine. Everything works out fine. Okay. So, so how much health do we get back over? We don't get any over four hours. Do health? Yeah, you do. Health is easy. Your mega um, stamina has to do with how fast you heal. So you can look at the healing table in the book, and then depending on your mega stamina. Do you have any bashing damage? I have bash. I have only bashing. How much do you have? Four. four. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, you're, yeah. I mean, I'm that good. Goes in like, I think it's an, an hour. You're it fine. told me that it takes, like, to go from bashing to nothing, I guess, mm-hmm. would be one day. So for us, Mega Stamina 2, it would actually be six hours. We have four times the healing rate. Okay, so after six hours, I would but get But that's lethal one. damage. It's lethal. So bashing is faster. Bashing is a lot faster. You're okay. Oh, so I just wipe it off. Mine? Wipe yeah, it okay. off. You're bam, 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 bam. Your body heals super fast. <clears throat> All right. So we went to bed, except for Brian, who did his little journey. He did his thing. As right? a fly. Yep. And they come to get you six hours later. Oh, yeah. It's still Brian there. is Lord of Flies. So it's like 10 a.m. Working on it. Someone knocks on the door. Yeah. Uh, sirs, if you'll accompany me. Mm. Well, you're clicking. I'm clicking again. I am. I know. I just <laughs> caught myself. I was like, oh, whoops, I'm doing it. <laughs> How does that happen? Five seconds. Josh is like, I do the thing. It's compulsive. <laughs> okay, so you guys follow someone down the hallway. Uh, the ship is amazingly, or the oil derrick is amazingly clean. It looks like every corner or crevice, cranny, is completely and totally sterile and clean down to the metal or nuts and bolts. Uh, there's wear in the paint because some of the walls of the bulkheads are painted, but there's no dirt anywhere that you can see. Hmm. Interesting. They walk you guys to the mess hall to eat. The mess hall is cleared of all other personnel, and you guys have it to yourselves. There's a massive breakfast buffet out because you mm-hmm. have to eat like eight times normal person. Definitely. Eat Here we go again. <laughs> All we do is eat and mm. fight. Mm-hmm. We don't even have time to shit. That's the life. <laughs> right, the general walks in. I am. I am gonna assume that you shit off camera. Okay. No, I shit on the table. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just all drop trow and shit on the table. God, can you imagine how much we have to shit? Oh my God, those toilets must be strong, industrial. I bet we we metabolize <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, just do it. <laughs> oh, just let it fall. Uh, Goddamn. Uh, <laughs> I just picture an industrial strength <laughs> toilet. I couldn't eat my shit. <laughs> Could you imagine, uh, like, a spin tank? That's my no. reverse. Imagine if one had IBS. Oh, God. <laughs> There's your next level of taint. <laughs> oh, no. Food Actually, allergy. Taint can take food allergies. They can make you eat weird food. You can have to eat gold or something like that. That's always fun. Eat your weight in gold every day. All right, we got to be serious. <laughs> Become your bank robber. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, General Hayes walks in. Or Mary. Mary. Since he hasn't given us name. Uh-huh. Are we calling him Mary? Is that canon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said Mary. Uh-huh. So someone said call him Mary, and it just stuck. Right. He's fine with it. He doesn't want you guys knowing who he is. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have a way now. Mm-hmm. Okay. You probably just get it from my weak willed mind. He can't read your mind yet. Oh, really? Yeah. I took it as a reduced power mm-hmm. because the goal was not to do all those things. He has to draw the picture before he makes the illusion. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. So uh, he walks in. He says, I have a quick briefing for you. He throws down a file for each of you guys. It's If you take a look at it, it's got a picture of a compound uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, and the compound's shaped like a square. It looks like a sort of like an old high school. You know how some high schools are shaped in cubes and there's a courtyard in the middle? Mm-hmm. That's sort of the way it looks. He says, this is an MR facility in Southern Africa. Uh, not all... Mazar and Rashan facilities have to do with training. Some of them have to do with research. And they have in that facility an individual that we need to acquire. So an extraction. Kidnap job. Live, I'm assuming? Yes, preferably live. If you can't get the person out in one piece, then they can't be allowed to continue possession. I hope you understand. But we prefer to get the individual... uh, only as a less last ditch scenario or last case effort to deny them the asset, do you destroy it? Will they be expecting uh, us, or are why they? Why did you call us? Like, what? Well, fucking team tomorrow. Quite. Yeah, I get it, but like <laughs> the PR guy is super into selling us. <laughs> there's gotta be some. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, there's gotta be punch him in the nuts. Else. There's gotta be someone else. That's All right, I punch him this. in the nuts. <laughs> I mean, so. Out of game really quick. Let's break for a second and talk about your characters and their power level. Like, aberrants are like 0.1% of the population, right? There's not a lot comparatively. I mean, there's a lot numerically, but compared to average everyday guys, most people are still baselines. Out of the amount of aberrants that there are on the planet, most of them glow like a nightlight or can make a laser pointer dot in the wall. Like, again, you well, are... they might have, like, real baseline mega attributes. Like, even mega strength one is awesome. Yeah, but that's going to make you like an athlete for the Nova games. Yeah, right. We're like super beefcakes, optimized power because we picked our own powers kind of thing. If you guys are looking at the boys, you guys are on the same power level as... Popclaw. No, you're stronger than Popclaw. You could beat the shit out of Popclaw. In fact, you did. Oh, no, she's the B team. Sorry. That's she's the B meant. team. Yeah, you guys are... Wait, who you the guys... fuck is Popclaw? She's the one that popped on the, the guy's boys? head with her ass. Oh, that one. Right. A yeah. train's girlfriend? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you guys really, you have the power level that you could be like one of the seven. Right. I mean, Homelander is obviously more beefcake. And there are more beefcake Novas in the world than you. There's always someone who's bigger and badder. But your power level is pretty intense. You just don't know it yet. You got to get comfortable in your own skin. Right. Mm-hmm. But you guys could do like fucked up things. Awesome things. He does fucked up things. I mean, you all have the same amount of points in your character, and Alex could walk through small arms fire and butcher a whole city with his bare hands if there were no Novas to stop him. He would be literally unstoppable. Heavy fire, not just small arms. Like 18 so? I mean, small arms fire, he's effectively immune to. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't Mm -hmm. matter to him. It's like Superman when he gets shot and the bullet crumples against his fucking eyeball. 
right? So you guys are powerful. <laughs> we'll pretend he said that. <laughs> <laughs> What are we he just looks at you until you're done. And then he moves on with the briefing. Are the, is the uh, person that we're extracting expecting us, or would you expect resistance against us taking them? We are going to create a little bit of a diversion that involves uh, staging a mock Terrigen raid in the facility. Uh, during the diversion, you guys will get in, <clears throat> find the asset, and get out. Should we even know who's in control of this MR facility? Utopia controls all MR facilities. Right. I knew that. I didn't need to ask that. No. This is a situation, boys, where the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing, and it's better that way. Like a stranger. If you're not... I <laughs> 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 say, well, I'm, e I'm e eating a, you a huge leg of you're a stranger too. <laughs> Unlike me, he you keeps a totally <laughs> straight face. You can detach your hand even. <laughs> oh, oh, the God. God. Yes, oh, I can. Oh, my brain. Well, my the little is, chair. Uh, is the left oh, hand. Oh, my God. Yeah, I thought I, I always find it like better if you sit on the left hand for a little okay, bit so okay, it's numb, okay, okay. and then it just doesn't feel. All like right, it's let's true. move on. Let's move on. So, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I told you we're gonna ruin your game. Straight. <laughs> 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 yeah, straighter than most. That's for sure. <laughs> We okay. are we are powerful superheroes. <laughs> First like, thing we learned how to like do. A deep comment or something. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay. With great power comes great responsibility. No shit. <laughs> All right. So, um, so he says, "I need you boys to get in and get out." Is there any reconnaissance we're going to need to do? Uh. I mean, you'll have to do reconnaissance on the fly. So we don't have time. <laughs> Not really. When, the, when does it go? Do you have a picture of the asset? It goes when we, says that, when we say that it's ready. We do not have a picture of the asset. Who will need, we know who to extract. How will we know who to extract? So the one that's plugged into all the business. Exactly. Two stories below ground, you will find an individual in the southwest corner of the building plugged into a room that's designed to dampen quantum powers. The reason Oof. that the subject is in that room is because they have the ability to manipulate time. Oh. We need to capture that asset, if at all possible, and if not possible, we have to make sure that no one else can use the asset. And I'm assuming, like, all MR facilities, there's going to be, like, biometric securities? There will be a heavy amount of security. We can shut down the security grid for 15 minutes. Okay. So you need to convince the asset that they need to come with us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, like, we want this asset alive, preferably, right? If at all possible, we would like to Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely possible. Yeah. No, I'd say, like, this is going to be a cakewalk, right, guys? I recommend... You knock them unconscious rather than try to talk them into it. Understand, this is a Nova you're talking about. Knocking them unconscious may or may not be an option. We don't know the suite of the subject's powers overall. All we know is that the power, or the subject, the asset, uh, has the ability to manipulate time. Temporal control is their main power, but we don't know what else they have access to. Okay. I would say talk first. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, yeah. We'll invite him out to lunch. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing a great job convincing me. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna do, you know, a brunch later on. Do we know who is at the MR facility? Novas mainly. I'm looking through the dossier. I mean, there are mostly Novas in training at the MR facility. Uh, the security is handled by individuals outfitted with anti-Nova technology. Baselines mostly. There will be one or two Novas on site. Uh, there are four possibilities. And he has like four different... Um, 
like you know bios but they don't have names he's like we don't know the subjects identities but we have a good idea of their possible power suites there is someone who specializes in telepathic manipulation and holograms we have someone who is strong a basic strong man nova that can fly uh there's a speedster that may be there and then there is a nova that deals with uh spatial manipulation like warp teleportation possibly and they are extremely social in nature do not if you can help it do not engage any of the possible security measures they might have there are two of these incognito if at all possible you want to get in and get out without them knowing you were there okay i'll change my youth birth to not match my signature look right can the Yufa bird make it so that it shows what's behind you? So basically, you become invisible. Uh, nope, hmm. that's power. That is. Can it? I think that's a body Camouflage. mod. I think okay. it's a body mod. You can you can okay. have that. So, we will get you on a flight out to South Africa. Uh. Our warp specialist is currently engaged someplace else. Over the course of the supersonic flight, we will get our other team in place, and when it's time to drop you outside of the facility, we will initiate the distraction. You'll have a half an hour from the point of touchdown to get inside the facility. After a half an hour passes, we will drop the power grid to the facility and interrupt their security measures. At that point, you'll have 15 minutes. you have any basic blueprint layout since it's a utopia facility? I mean, yes, but they don't match the inside of the building. Okay. Two levels down, southwest corner. We only know that because there's a major power strike, or major power spike coming from that particular room. Will the room also dampen our powers? There is mm -hmm. the possibility... <laughs> That it will drain the quantum from you at an accelerated rate. So you may want to get in and get out as fast as possible. He did say anti-Nova technology. Mm -hmm. Let's bring the guns. Oh yeah, let's get some weapons from you, man. I lost my fire axe. Ideally, this is... <laughs> it's going to be a non situation, I think. Yeah, the hope is stealth. that you can not kill people. Yeah, we're going in incognito. You're trying to get in and out without engaging any of the staff that are there at the building, if at all possible. If you do have to engage them, please try to show restraint. We're just going to walk in, and you're going to talk our way through. Oh, yeah. That's going to be great. I got this. Plan. Or we can sneak through. It's a possibility. I mean, I can. I don't know about everyone else. What crews are active on site? Uh, maintenance crews, oh. uh, food delivery crews. Um, All of those crews will go into lockdown in the first sub basement. As soon as the power grid goes down, they will be escorted to safe rooms and locked down. It will take approximately four minutes out of the fifteen black window, fifteen minute black window we have. So they'll be escorted down if we're already there. Only one level, and then be locked in. It's probably time to break away from the escort. If we're already in there and everything goes on lockdown, we have a way to the basement immediately. Sub basement one. We need a sub basement two. That's fine. We're halfway there. Unless it's different entrances. Sub basement two doesn't mean that you have to go through sub basement one to get to it. No. We don't know anything, really. If we're already there, we could have some early recon, too. I like what you were thinking. Mm. But it's a research facility, primarily. For Utopia? Correct. Hey, out of game is 
Proteus well known? Is that no. nobody knows? Okay. I mean, it's just like some faction inside Utopia. S- as far just, as you know, it's like a sub Utopian faction. It's, you don't yeah, know. it's like the Green Berets. You're like, I don't know, there must be the better ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But this is like the Green Berets stealing from the army. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Well, what do you think, Mary? Going early? I think it depends on what you feel comfortable with doing. You could go in early and infiltrate. You could wait until the shutdown and get in while the place is less covered. You could wait until after the shutdown and sneak in after their guard has been lowered because they have re-upped the security measures. It is all up to you. You gentlemen are the specialists that I have called upon because I'm hoping you can get the job done. Well, if we do that, we would just need a few resources. Such as? Gear, clothing. You have Euphaber. Your Euphaber can become whatever you need it to be. It's always been this. I switch into a red bikini. And then switch back. Never tried that. (laughs) (laughs) You think you can play the part? Maintenance? Janitorial? Our two biggest assets for this are those two, because he... People forget about him when he's not around, and we got the social talk. How much here. cipher do you have? Five. Oh, you can walk past security cameras. You can walk and past the security two. guards. My name. If you dorm down, though, I don't know if your cipher still works, does it? I assumed the backgrounds would stay. It would just be the quantum powers. I don't think you can manipulate your Euphor while you're dormed. Baselines can't manipulate Euphor. I don't know. But I mean, just the the cipher itself is the bulk of it. Yeah. The the dormancy is just... Like, literally, if you walk past security cameras, they'll fuzz where you're at. Yeah, I love that all the lower dots have conditions and stuff. At five, it just says your secrets are safe. Period. <laughs> right. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> yeah, so, so you two play the part. I can sneak in. I can play the part for a little bit, but I can also just keep out of sight. Keep out of mind. What about you, Rampart? I'm mostly there, I think, if things go bad. So you can try to play the part. Maybe I can try to play the part. in his shadow. He can convince people that I'm good to pass. Mm-hmm. Um, you should sit in a wheelchair and he can push it. I wouldn't be against that. He just wants to get you in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to put me in one otherwise. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying you can be in a wheelchair. And no. You can be the, the strong guy that pushes around, the oh, obvious okay. bodyguard. But yes, you could also be in one if you wanted, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it starts to look ridiculous when you're pushing him, though. I'll race you in a wheelchair. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'll give you gentlemen some time to figure it out. Yeah, on the jet ride there. <laughs> Although we do plan. need some resources when we get there. Do we have a contact? What do you need? Apparently a wheelchair. <laughs> really? I kind of like the idea. I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I will I say, say it's an Mary. MR facility, so there's not many crippled. Can you talk smart? Listen, we can... <laughs> no, I can never talk smart. Damn it. Hey, his intelligence is locked at his player level, okay? <laughs> Which also matches my real life level. <laughs> I'm not a military guy. I don't know anything about military. All right. So forget the wheelchair, apparently. How about we just uh, stroll in? Walk in. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're the one talking, I'm good with that. <clears throat> how about we? Sp- how about we split the party a little bit? I'm sure they have to. I'm have considering some splitting from the party in. a little bit. Pardon? I'm I mean, sure that's they have not to have some convoys <laughs> that drive in to this uh, secure facility. 
once a week there are, uh, you know, supply dumps and things of that nature. This uh, facility is off the grid, so most of the supply dumps take place via air drop. Uh, it's mostly a self-sustaining environment because they don't want word of what's going on there to get out. So I don't think people just walk in. If we could get on one of those supply dumps, what is that? Supply dump is by air. It's boxes with parachutes attached to them. Speaking of dump, this time manipulating Nova, he eats a lot, right? He's got to take a dump. Got to take a dump a lot. <laughs> Who handles that? <laughs> I don't know, son. <laughs> Does he have sure active, a active plumbing? That's attached to the building to take care of all the waste products of the personnel. Well, that's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a 10 year old trapped in a 37 year old body. <laughs> so we have our way in. <laughs> So you understand that a septic system is not attached to a larger sewer system. You'd have to get into the septic tank first. Fair enough. I think it might be a good idea for you to split from the group <laughs> and do your own thing. <laughs> well, I imagine, yeah, you weren't up for the task. Yeah. What kind of distraction are you guys providing? We are going to drop in a few Novas directly before you get there and we're going to stage a Terrigen attack on the facility. So, if we don't do early recon, we can just go in during the distraction. If you were to do early recon, would you be able to leave a part of yourself with us so that you could let us know information from the inside? I mean, we have radios. We don't. Can you get some communicators? We had radios. Yeah, we I had forgot about that. Um, I can give you radios, but I cannot uh, promise that they will work once you're in the facility. And the quantum... How long do we have? Can we just be assigned to this facility for various tasks for days, weeks, months they beforehand? Don't, they don't want us to know. We don't have that kind of timetable. They're close to getting the asset to perform. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> and there's so many options. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm good. I think. I'm... I feel baffled that you feel good about this. Yeah, what, what we are, haven't come up with a solid we plan. We, have, we haven't d come up with any plan. I mean... I would I like to go in for the airdrop. That's me. We went... I don't know if we have that kind of time frame. I'll have to see when their next supply dump is and the possibility of getting on board. I'm not sure if that's a situation that we'll be able to get a hold of, not to mention all the supplies are scanned on the way in. Do you have a way of fooling their scanner systems? No. I think the answer is no to that one. This is going to be one of those solo missions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the road goes ahead. I was just going to say, like, <sighs> when I said I feel good, is I don't think we're going to come up with a better plan than we have now. Actually, two of you could. Anything you can do, he can do. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, like, we could we could take care of this, man. Like, well, he can't take his cipher. No, but he can take his homunculus. Up to three dots, I guess, which is not enough to go into the bug form. Not swarm, but you could break but into in you could swarm, break into quarters. You're right. not really <laughs> hiding from anyone. Yeah, I guess it's true. But you're a pile of bugs. Yeah, that's not weird at all. You There's a pile in. of bugs in our food supplies. Let's just throw it out. No, my entire plan. <laughs> that's possibly true. 
I don't know. I mean, we could just wait for the distraction. That's what I'm saying. That's our best bet. And then storm in. Sneak in. I could sneak in. So we join the Terrigen Revolution. I might actually even be better uh, helping the Terrigen. The The distraction. Oh, okay. (laughs) I mean, if that's what you want to do, but I feel better if you're in front of the bullet. Or under the bus. I'll throw you under the bus. I mean, the bus will run over me and I'll be fine. It's up to you you guys if you want me in front of, in case things go bad, or if you want me to help distract them, because I could be a better distraction. I mean, if you're busy, each of us are going to have separate tasks, I think. Mm -hmm. And, Uh... And you drawing fire and attention is the best use for you. Yeah. I'm either going to be drawing attention to you guys, or I'm going to be drawing attention from you guys. True. So you want to join the attention drawing? Yep. Squad. All right. Uh, I'm thinking it might even be good for me to be my own solo. Uh, no, maybe sticking with them as a group would be better, so I can compliment. Have an extraction point. <laughs> yeah, they will have an point. extraction plan. Yeah, that's you that's stick with my Barry plan. on. So far, I have not heard. Our extraction. Very distracting. I don't think we have. <laughs> you guys have to extract yourself, I believe. What I need you to do is meet up where we drop you off, about uh, five kilometers outside the facility, and get back there in order to get picked up 12 hours after we drop you off. So you'll have to secure the asset and keep them secure for roughly 11, 10, 11 hours. We won't be able to have another fly by window for 12 hours. It'll be easy once we have. The guy who can control time. Possibly. <laughs> if you can convince him to do it. Okay. So you give us the go-ahead, <laughs> and we will do the uh, rest, I guess. Your team's extraction is that one of the individuals on your team has the ability to warp. If, uh, if they go safe. down fall back to their extraction point. Will do. Well, I feel still not much better about this, but at least we know when we're going. Yep, at least there's that. What's your plan, Forge? Well, uh... He does the talking, so I'm believing his... I'll have to get down... I'll have to get down and try to talk to this guy. Maybe I'll be... Can I just turn into ants? You wouldn't be able to. No. If you could take three dots, you can... I think you can split yourself into four pieces. You can copy some of my powers, though. Including stealth. Well, wait. You can get in. Yeah. So, hyperspeed, flight, stealth. I guess we're just going to get in and try to find this sub basement, yeah. second floor. All right, great. Yeah, that's our that's my plan. Our plan I'm, is let's so just sure stick, there's let's, no way this can go wrong. Yeah, like <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing wrong. This guy has provided us with all the information that we need to be success, successful. Like, it's just, it's perfect. Plan for success. Positive attitude, positive results. <laughs> he just <laughs> looks away. <laughs> so you're coming with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a negative. I, I will be supervising the operation from here. I'll be in communication with your team. Are there any other... Um... Around this facility, are there any other structures, buildings within the vicinity? This facility is in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Jungle? Mostly plains, grasslands. Okay. Oh, and you said South Africa. I was thinking desert. I guess that makes sense. That's North Africa. Ah, I'm horrible with geography. Me too. 
Me. <laughs> Ryan's you know like, what, what, Africa what, what like? side of the earth does the sun come up on? <laughs> hey, I got that. <laughs> as long as I'm looking at a picture. That right. says it. <laughs> nice. Our final for geography was to make um, or have a map of the United States and do every single state. And you get just two points per state. So if you get uh, all the 50 states, it's 100%. Alabama. It was bad. Yes. It's like anything <laughs> not America. It's yeah. like it's the black hole outside of our the, country. He was just saying America, the 50 states. Yeah. I think I got like 40% on that. <laughs> so. See, you Break, got me. Breaks my heart. How many? <laughs> What's that? How many states are there? 51? 50? What? Uh, what I can't are we tell talking if you're, I can't tell right if you're joking or not. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. We've been planning for 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's do this. 52. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, he leaves. I, I renounce your right to vote. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay, so you guys, he leaves, and he leaves you guys in the mess hall to finish eating. And he says that in 20 minutes, there will be a jet out on the tarmac for you. Am I going on the same jet? Negative. Okay. Well, I hope you have fun. I hope you guys don't die. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are very different hopes. Hope you have fun. Hope you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll change my Euphibur to be completely black except for white eyes okay all right so uh you guys finish eating up you have an inspiration Brian. <laughs> they feel my pain <laughs> <laughs> thanks for knowing that there are 50 states to whoever it is out there uh a young dude walks in and he's got on like um uh, you know, Euphaber that covers his body from head to toe, except for like above the eyes, his hair is out and his hair is like flame, basically. And he says, you're with us. Yep. When you guys get close to the drop zone, we'll head out. Okay. My name is Char, by the way. You are? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was actually debating if I should tell him. Oh. A friend. Well, nice to meet your friend. Oh, yeah, because you look different, too. Mm-hmm. I'm heading down to the entertainment center to play some video games if you want to come. God damn it! You went the wrong way. <laughs> God damn it! Come on, let's I go hide all like, the sewers. That's like three hours until you guys get there. Yeah. Come on. I'll see you guys later. Have fun <laughs> with your new friend. <laughs> when, when we all die, we're gonna. I call Char. <laughs> That's all we know so far. You get the yep. one we know about. Who's the other? True. True. Oh, true. There's two more. God damn it! Yes, there are. <laughs> Bolt hole. <laughs> <laughs> nah, right. Shade and Sluice are the other ones on your team. You Wait. made down the entertainment room. What? Mm. Sluice? What? Dun, if I dun, saw dun. Sluice, I'd probably punch her. Yeah, well, you didn't see her. Oh. Who's Sluice? She was That's... that Frieza bitch. Oh, shit. Frieza. Yeah. Okay. I never saw her. I'm trying to debate if I ever saw her. <laughs> Sloppy in the tubes. I think you got kicked through the room and then she disappeared before you showed up, but you saw she her handiwork. Sloppy in the tubes. Yeah, I saw frozen stuff, but yep, I so didn't, you see didn't actually her. see her. Okay, yeah. <sighs> nice. All right. But you did know her name. Oh, God. So she tells her her name. It's hard mm. to go back when she say things like that. Fuck you guys. <laughs> but Shane's down there. He gives you one of those. He's playing video games with Sluice on the couch. They're playing some Nova fighting game where they're beating the shit out of each other. Think like uh, Mortal Kombat, but more colorful. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Capcom versus Street Fighter. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Capcom yeah. versus SNK. I don't know what that is, but sure. 
So you guys are boarding the plane? Yeah. Do we plane. have a video game system? That's no. the first thing I look for. <laughs> I don't have a video game system. Uh, I put in a DVD. Home Alone 2. I mean, you're sitting in the back of a jet. There is no DVD system. You guys are in jump seats that face each other across the back of the oh jet. Oh, my God. This is the worst. I'm sitting across from Bolt Hole. Okay. And I'm just staring him right in the butt. eye. I'm just... What's your problem? This is horrible, man. You wanted to get paid. We're here. We're going to get paid. I don't know, dude. This Your friend did... I got it right. Mary... Yeah, Mary. Yeah, what about him? I don't know, dude. I don't have this mind for this military bullshit. I can't come up with these plans. I'm I'm to be sat in front of a crowd and just pump rainbows into people's asses. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think my plan is later, right? <laughs> no, you're going to get one of them pretty rainbows. <laughs> Everyone gets yeah. a rainbow. Come out. <laughs> Get off the plane. <laughs> I think this is the time where you might learn in your young life how to just follow orders. What orders? What fucking orders did we have? You know exactly what you're supposed to do. No, I don't. No. Do you know what you're <laughs> going to be doing? Improvising. Oh, yeah. Improvising. <laughs> That's going to be great. You know? Like, yeah. And then I eat a Time Lord. Sure, exactly. Well, then you what? don't have to. Eat yeah, it. but the goal is to get this guy out. And we're going to probably end up killing him. He said, Speaking truth. alive if possible. Oh, my God. You guys aren't going to be able to do a lot, no, maybe. No, we're not going to be able to do a lot. <laughs> There's no confidence I know. in your ability to get I, this person I know. alive. I know this for sure. We're not going to get out of, like this guy out alive. How do you know this? It could be possible that my group is the one that dies. Yeah, maybe he needs to come back as our new friend, Time Guy. It's possible. I might need to make a new character. You probably don't want to be the Time person. Yeah, he's not going to have any arms or legs with some time with him. Yeah, I guess he's, he's the one in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. Did you? Don't, do you remember how our last... You guys have this talk. We're, this. we're flying <laughs> in the airplane. This is what we're talking about do in the you, airplane. Do you remember how our last mission went? Yeah, we... One. Do you not remember that? We won. Hey, you're not here. <laughs> you're playing video games. Damn right, I jerk. Am. I suppose there's different kinds of winning. However, like this, you won, but at what? That cost? was a bank robbery, and this that is wasn't... infiltrating a military compound. That wasn't an everyday bank robbery. That was a Nova robbery. They send sure. Novas to do this kind of work because you're going to be facing other Novas. Right. Exactly. Nothing's going to be different here. This place is going to be fucked. Well, and just... our fingerprints are going to be all over the place. That guy's not going in the bathroom. He's not watching. Your wife played video games. <laughs> Tell me. Hurry up. Look, you made Unstoppable hey, leave. All right, all right. Huh? <laughs> you just made him leave. Up and leave the plane. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Now he sent his ears off and flying in other directions because you guys didn't want to hear you guys. All right, listen. We had about three ideas for a plan in about ten minutes. Do you have any other ideas? No, I just, the, the only thing I can think of is maybe possibly taking some stealth from you because I have none. And sneaking in and sneaking out. I mean, that's a good plan. I That's what I plan on doing. You? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's Play the only one I have confidence in. He's got three dots in stealth. He's the only one I have confidence in. We're going to fuck this five. up. Yeah. And three dots I in do intrusion. I do doing that. Which is... Oh, you're exactly. very intrusive. Yeah. I have one dot in computers. I have uh, four dots in stealth, though. With some mega decks and dexterity. The hope is we just get in and out 15 minutes or less. Minimal um, 
damage. Uh, remember these. No casualties. I don't think I'll be pulling out the rifle or the sword. You don't think you'll be pulling out this time? Yeah, yeah well. Not this time. <laughs> uh, great, because I got nothing. My gun is gone. My fire axe is gone. This dude didn't give me anything. The only thing you need is a fucking stick. Just use a baseball bat. Oh, yeah. Um, where is that at? Grab a pipe. There's got to be a pipe somewhere. Oh, no. No, we're, we're coming up with weapons. We're just just this plane. Don't so, plane. programming joke, pipe included. So, <laughs> you lost us. I mean, if you need a weapon, you can get one before you get out of the plane, but they he strongly encourages you to not have to res resort to horse. Yeah. I'm just saying for last ditch effort, don't pull out the sword, grab a stick or a baseball bat. Do you have a couple sluggers? He wants to do bashing back. damage we're, instead of We're lethal. back in time now. Just use the hilt of the sword. Fine. I mean, he'll give you a combat knife. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, great. I'll just... I guess you can also just, hit with the blunt... I'll just use my rainbow sword. pumping abilities to... Take care of these guys. What are you talking about with these rainbow pumping abilities? He's shitting rainbows. <laughs> you, don't, you don't shit rainbows. It's not a thing you do. <laughs> and he pumps them into it's other people's tape. asses. He took bioluminescence tape. one and put it in his poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's at a reduced cost. It's only my shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys fly to the drop zone. And they drop you off. And uh, before you guys get dropped off, it's, you know, a vertical lift plane. The guy in the back, the crewman who's with you, says, um, look, who wants the compass? You want to detach your hand and fly it over to the <laughs> compass? You guys are five clicks due south of the well, facility. Can't we all have a compass? Sure. Here's a compass. I'm Thank just you. asking who can read a compass. Who knows how to orient here? What skill is that? I don't know. Average intelligence? <laughs> sure. <laughs> which one the N is? <laughs> if you have a bubble with two in intelligence, you can read a compass. I mean, there's an azimuth and a back azimuth or something like that. I don't know. I have an intelligence of three and a survival of two. There you go. You're the guy. Here I you will go. take the compass. <laughs> there's your compass. <laughs> oh, I want a compass, too. I can read a okay, compass. Okay, here's a compass. Thank I'll you. Give me my back. Yeah, survival probably is what it is. Okay. Um, how many Novas do you think they house in this facility? I mean, there are a bunch of training Novas, but there are only two of the staff Novas. And what do you say? There is the one that was into telepathy, right? Um, there was just like a usual strong, strong man. man. What else was there? There was the speedster. Yep, speedster. And then the last one was the really dangerous one. The butterfly guy. No. The rainbow guy. Yeah, yeah, he was a rainbow guy. I don't remember. So he doesn't exist. So that's the strongman speedster and... It's probably the invisible guy. Uh, it was the talker. Oh, yeah, the social one. That is... Uh, yeah, teleport and... I yeah, think. maybe some sort of spatial manipulation. But uh, super social. May, you could even say mega social, or probably manipulator. Yeah, manipulator. Oh god, because I remember this character. <laughs> you, you played him once. <laughs> He's my favorite character, and Aber. He was so fun, and everybody hated his guts. Mm -hmm. We're fucking doomed. We created the term Josh turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I didn't learn anything new. <clears throat> okay, so they drop you guys. Sweet. How far out? Three miles? Five clicks. Oh, five clicks. I don't know. Kilometers. You even know how long five a click kilometers. is? No, what's a click? So, I don't know. Is a click a kilometer? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's a couple miles. So you guys are dropped off. Boop. All right. Let's get on our way. You guys do have communicators with you that'll work at least until you get to the facility. 
So we just wait for the signal. You have a half an hour from when they drop you. To get to the facility? Before the disturbance happens. I activate my hyperspeed. You don't, you don't need to. It's five kilometers. You can walk. Yeah, but it lasts for the scene. Hmm. How about you wrangle us up a couple zebras or lions to ride? So you just I'm run to the facility tempted. by yourself. <laughs> you can carry them, I guess, to the facility. Yeah, I could carry anyone. Well, I can carry one person. You can carry two. Although with the two men of five, it says I can carry one person. Oh right, so and not got harm plenty them. of time yeah. to take this slow right now. Okay? Yeah, we can walk. Yeah, and it, be there in time. It might yeah, actually just, be better for you guys to just power down to walk because then you don't have power a down. You can power down. Can't everyone? He's You're not, not there. No, no. You have to have dormancy. Oh, dormancy. Okay, never mind. I do not do that. But I will just spend my three whole. Uh, quantum and activate hyper speed. Actually, I'll spend all six uh, hyper flight and speed. Okay. For the scene. And then if we get into combat, then it turns into maintenance. Sure. Do you want to prepare? Grab some specialty skills? Powers. Abilities? Powers before it's too late? Zebras? Zebras? You're really up to these zebras. I'm saying. You can copy things. I don't think they just have zebras wandering around. I look around. Are there any zebras? Oh, no. This place is not like they showed on the postcard. <laughs> uh, is there any wildlife whatsoever around here? Sure, there are maybe some gazelles way off in the distance or something like that. I'll say before we get dropped <laughs> off, I'm going to do excuse myself to the bathroom and tase myself. <laughs> 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 As often as you've said that, <laughs> that still, still caught me off guard. You gotta remember, is, is that maintenance? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that lasts for the yeah, same. Yeah, but they just get there. Yeah. Someone is gonna tear a hole in the space and they'll yeah. be there. Uh, yeah, but he's still excusing himself to the bathroom to yep. taste himself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Right in the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Just do it. Do it. Nice. There we go. <laughs> wow. You know, the oddly, taint is kind of my absorption, so, you know. I absorb it through my taint. Buy it at a reduced cost. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's increased cost. It's increased. Hey, right. I feel like I missed something in the past 20 seconds. I looked away for one second, got distracted. Hey, inspiration is re-roll a one, or it turns into a success? You, you make one one a success. Okay. Which is pretty good. I got two of them right now. Nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Stockpile them when you need to turn two ones into a success. Yeah, that's how to do it, man. <sighs> and I'm gonna okay. So these guys are walking. Are you guys doing anything on the walk? Uh, I s slap him across the he back of the head and, and take his speed. Sure, I mean, but... it's called hyper speed slash flight, you although can you can't fly. Nope, well, just make Or no, fast. not hyperspeed. I'm sorry, stealth. I want the stealth. How many dots can I take of that? Three. Three? How many do you have? Four. Okay, so you can take three dots in stealth. And you have to spend three quantum to do that. Right. Okay. You and that's all I can take, though, right? No, you can take two more powers. You can take mega dex, you can take mega strength. I have three mega strength. You want that? Then mega dex would add to your stealth, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Dex. I got mega dex. Nice. So I'll take your mega strength. So you take three dots? Yeah. How much strength do you have? He has four. Four. So you have five strength and two mega strength right now. Okay, five strength. Right? Is it the way it works? You fills up strength first? I don't know if that. Oh, no. I don't think it works that way. First. That's for density control. So you have three mega strength. Three stealth and three strength. Mega, mega, strength. Mega, strength. mega strength. The beefcake strength. And you have one more power you can take. Kind of eyeing those gazelles, huh? Really? <clears throat> but how much do you spend per? Do you spend six per? Once you start thinking that way, it's hard to hey, go back. <laughs> how much fun does you spend per? Imprint? If I run through a gazelle, <laughs> would I cook it? <laughs> 
<laughs> How much? I got to be How much does he spend per time he takes a thing? Three. Three? So that's six so far. Right. Okay. What do you take it, homunculus? I was going to... I don't, I don't know if I can... Do I, do you you can hold should, three powers. Do you think I should take homunculus? You do what you want. You're kind of the the utility guy. Should I just roll for what I, I see, what I start with uh, when I drop? Sure. Just get that out of the way. You could even take some of his intrusion for now. What's that do for me? Intrusion? I see a hack into just systems. Into oh, out. yeah. I'll take some. And then I'll... How much intrusion do you have, G? Three. Okay, so oh. take three dots of intrusion. Three intrusion. Okay. Mm. That way you could at least help him or... So we all are sneaky and uh, they can do intrusion. Yep. Okay. I like, I can just basically use a computer. That's all I can do. Yeah, <laughs> like... I know how to turn it on. Or right. hunting pack method. I'm just going to say, I probably want to use the bathroom before right we... Now? Before we start this shit, here I just I'm just <laughs> dig a hole. There real go. life, like go do your thing. Oh, this real is gonna, life. This is gonna take a while. Okay. So once we get into it, let's go <clears throat> into it. All right, go ahead. Okay. Okay. So you guys are getting ready to to portal in. Okay. Charlie's like, "Hey, man, you ready?" He knocks on yep. the bathroom door. <laughs> yep. I'm out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get out of here. Yep. <laughs> the shade opens the portal. <laughs> Brian, are you okay? <laughs> Do you think it helps to shit a little when you're getting shocked? Like, <laughs> sit in the toilet. Ah, slim. Ah, slim. Ah, slim. I'm good. It makes all my muscles tighten. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he really is a masochist. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Josh, you just got to end this game. His, yeah. his taser <laughs> is actually just a defective flashlight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Short circuits. Oh, oh god. <laughs> this is fucked up. This just got bad. Okay. So you... come on, inspirations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you uh you guys get ready to go. Shade opens a portal. Yep. Step through. And you guys step through. Huh? It's probably how far away is South African time from West Coast time? Uh, one, two, three, eight hours. I was say about eight. Okay, so it's in the afternoon. Uh, sure. Sun's kind of riding low in the sky. You guys step through, and Char goes, "All right, this is when we provide our distraction." And he lights his body on fire, and starts turning the ground beneath his feet to glass, and takes off at a run for the wall of the facility. Is there something I could throw to make a big? Uh, I mean, there's... The plane. Yeah, there's just <laughs> ground. There's a road leading up. You can run to the road and tear a chunk of it up. I got Mega Strength 5. I'll just jump straight up and land. On the building? Not on yes. the building, but next to it. Be very distracting. Okay. So? By next to it, I mean, like, probably a good distance hey, away hey, so that... I think that's our Like, cute. I'll probably make a dust cloud, but... I don't want to destroy anything. Didn't you see okay. Rampart? I think I saw Rampart for half a second. Yeah, I mean, you guys are... Where are you guys? Are you guys, like, laying low in the grass, checking the place yeah. out? Okay. We didn't go yeah. to... You see there. someone go... Doosh, and there's also a person. It looks like a streak of flame moving towards the building, uh, lighting the grass behind it on fire. <clears throat> so Char just runs through the side of the building. Yeah. As he gets close, it melts away from him, and he just pushes through. And I got a success on density control plus my automatic two, so I doubled my weight three times. Okay, so you land like a cannonball. Yeah. You're like, Skadoosh! like hero landing, smashes the ground around you and creates crater. Sweet. Uh, so you guys can see them from where you're at, especially you because you have mega perception. You see Sluice with him and Char. Okay. Along with Shade. I never saw her. Right. <laughs> Do you guys want to roll Perception to see if you can see anything that's going on over there? Yeah, sure. I'll roll something. Okay. Perception. That's why not. I'm being big and flashy. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Oh, look at all these. Is it awareness? Tens place dice. I see how it is. Are you gonna? Do I get awareness One, with this or two, three. just the? I got three. Four. What are the other perception skills besides awareness? Investigation. Investigation. Yeah. That's Usually. it. Awareness. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a ten, right? Yep. Okay. Come, Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Seven or better. Yep. And, and you can reroll the tens. And one more. So three, four, four. Okay. four. So you guys recognize Sluice and Shade over there, along with Char and Rampart. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Four. Four. Okay, so you can see, yeah, you see uh, the streaking blaze of fire is actually a human being that runs through the side of the building. He tosses himself up into the air, and uh, Sluice skates as if on ice towards the building. Uh, Shade portaled them in, and then he tears another portal and disappears inside of it. So this is our chance. Okay, let's go knock on the door. We Tell saw Sluice. Their you edible arrangements Sluice. delivery is here. <laughs> Son of a I thought we were bitch. sneaking in. I was kidding. God damn it, you're confusing me. I know. Let's go. <laughs> I'm all amped up, hyperspeed amped. Okay. I'm like twitching. So they're vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> Need my flashlight. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it, are we just are we just gonna disregard that we just saw sluice down there? Yes. I don't know who that is. We don't have the oh. time for this. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Fuck, what are we fucking doing here? All right. <sighs> Fuck it. I start walking or crawling. Military. I'm cr military Here. crawling. <laughs> Very slowly. In camo. Right? Around, oh, yeah. Yeah. Around the camo. We got a camo euphemer. Sure. Can I have like a ghillie? Is it a ghillie suit? I think that's what they're called. You refer to me a ghillie suit, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I think it's, that's the, uh, like, with the leaves and stuff on the back. Yep. Very. It's oh. the sniper suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm. You're going to walk? I'm. Yeah, I'm wearing a suit <laughs> and I walk. <laughs> okay. I mean, you don't need it, probably. People yeah. forget you were there after they... <laughs> I see him walking, and I go, ah, oh, shit, and I get up from my military crawl. Okay. <laughs> All right. I you mean, guys... I just wait until he gets close, because I'm going to be like... Pew. Okay. Uh, you see Char come flying back through the hole in the building that he made, mm -hmm. and people start coming out in blue uniforms with uh, massive guns on their shoulders. They look like something out of a sci-fi movie. And he hits the ground about 30 feet away from you and looks uncomfortable with life. Minimum casualties. Minimum casualties. Just keep saying that to yourself. Um, am I able to... How far away are they? I don't know. 20 feet. 20 feet? Oh, I, I could totally walk. Run over there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Did you like that gun? <laughs> Is there a piece of uh, debris that I could pick up, like a rock that I could chuck at the weapon? Sure. It'll be harder to hit a weapon that someone's holding. You yeah. just grab the weapon, Alex. Uh, I can't technically make it over to them. My walk speed oh. is 7. My run speed is 14. Wow. So I could sprint over them, but I wouldn't be able to do anything when I'm there. Granted, if they're hitting me with an explosive weapon right next to them, probably wouldn't go well for them. But I also figure they have anti-Nova things, so I'm just trying to get rid of as much Nova stuff as I could. So when he hits the ground, it looks like the flames in his body gutter for a second and then pick back up. There's not a way to do just area damage, is there? Like if I were to jump again and land near them... There are kickers that allow things like that for mega strength. I don't know what they are. And there, there's combat maneuvers that you can you could daily look at the base. This uh, hurt, it but... does this for one extra difficulty too. Yeah, I don't think mega strength has a lot of area of effect stuff. Um, the things you buy with the mega strength, the enhancements, they do. Might. Yes, like shockwave, mm -hmm. thunderclap. But they also could kill baselines pretty easily because they don't soak lethal damage. 
And what I might be better off doing is trying to, like, with Mega Strength 5 and Lifter, just grab a broken chunk of earth and see if I can lift a portion of... In front of you? Yeah. Just to, like, make a barrier between us and... Yeah, you can go ahead and scoop a big chunk of something and then get behind it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll end up doing. Okay, so you bury your arms in the ground and just pry up a huge chunk of compact dirt and get behind it. Yep. Okay. And try to motion everyone over to me so that they can get behind me. Okay, so um, Sluice skates over to you. Char gets up and runs back towards the building. Hmm. Okay, back to you guys. I'm going to spend three for Mega Enhanced Speed. Enhanced yep. Movement, if I spend three, I can make a last for a scene. Instead of one turn. Okay. So that's what I do. I still wait until they get a little closer. Until these guys get closer? Yeah, I'll catch we're, up. I mean, aren't we right next to the building? Yeah, no. You guys are pretty close. No. Like, you'll be there in a round or two. It depends on how fast you're moving. Are you jogging, walking, crawling? Yeah. No. He's we're working in up well, in the suit. I, mean, yeah, I thought he was going to do some cool intrusion stuff. I was wrong. So I'm just watching what he does. I am doing some cool intrusion stuff. I'm hustling right. toward the building. We're going to get inside it. Are you heading around to the opening? or uh, No, the the other side. They're, he's pulling everyone in one direction. Okay. So you go to the other side. Yep. All right. So you're heading going, to the... Going to the servant's entrance or... The delivery door. There's not other doors, but okay. There's no other doors in the There's whole building. One way in. No other windows. Second floor. Not a problem. Yeah. I mean, not ideal. I guess I assumed that this is the kind of thing that would have been nice to know about for recon. <laughs> we uh, were just staring at the building for like an hour, like, where the hell are these guys? Okay, so since you guys gathered while you were there, one door in, one door out. There's a gate in the front. There's two stories above ground. Windows are all in the second story. No other entrances that you can see. So what was your plan when you were going up there? Well, I was going to go in through the side door. <laughs> but your, what, what was your plan now? The plan now is... Can your bugs burrow? <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> um, I love the questions we ask ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> What's your plan? No, none of you guys. I'm you can fly. Him. You cannot fly, can no. you? But I can carry someone. Okay. I guess your bugs could burrow. You could eat the ground, basically. This guy mm-hmm. has mega strength three. He could jump to a second story, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the second story. The side. So if they're all on the south, we'll go to the west. And go to that window. Sneakily. If you want to go sneakily, roll your stealth. Okay. Yes. Sure. Mm-hmm. Need more dice there. One, two, three, and I need three. Three. See, what is this? These ones, man. I don't know if letting you roll is a good idea. <laughs> okay. Zero. <laughs> Fine. Even with Megadex. And this is how it's going to happen Three. because it makes a lot of sense. I was kind of waiting until he gets everything done. I'm going to bolt in. Okay. Stealthily. Two. <laughs> Three. Apparently four, not. Yeah. Five. You just cover all the floor space. Figure out where the stair. The stair oh, no. Down. They have two speeds through intruders. <laughs> You're joining my team now. <laughs> yeah. Six, seven, eight. Holy shit. What the fuck? So you man? don't even see him. He like he just disappears under the grass. Nice ghillie suit. Did I get an nice. extra die for my ghillie suit? No. <laughs> You're carrying a shrub, that's why it was just yeah, like, <laughs> like... <laughs> I love those cartoons. It's like the cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming quick, cardboard box. <laughs> oh, all right, so what do you do? I'm um, going to fly up to that window. Okay. You fly up to the window. And I jump up to the window. When he jumps up to the window, I fly back and he can go in. <laughs> you go through? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't I? I what? Okay. You just burst it in? Okay. Blow a hole in the window and end up in what looks like a classroom. Nice job. Did he go through? No, I, I got to the side and I let I did, Toro. So you, you have three dots of intrusion, and your idea is to break the window. I'm just like face palming in the back. No, that wasn't my idea, but he was mega jumping, so that's what we did. Did I notice the window <laughs> break? No. We're on the opposite side. Probably not. Okay. Is there anybody in the classroom? The hostages. <laughs> no. Just thirty students. Oh God! No, Our hostages. Don't want to I'm not even hungry. Screaming in the hallway. Why? <laughs> uh, you see someone run by that's trailing like a beam of light. Oh shit! Uh, I get down on the ground in the corner. Okay. <laughs> and wait for someone to come in. I'll be there in a second. Don't worry. <laughs> Where are you? I was hanging back, and now I'm there all of a sudden. Like, okay. woof! Everything in the classroom goes, woof! And kind of moves away from I him as he blasts in. Throw it back on the desk real quick. In the right order? Yes. Okay. No, I don't have fast tests. There is something that does mm -hmm. that. Look around. Um, yeah. Put my head out the hall. Get close Beep. to the door. Listen. Okay. He puts his head out in the hall. You see young people running and screaming. Um, I take on the tone of a concerned teacher. This way, kids. This way, kids. And I put I, on the Team Tomorrow outfit. Just full on Team Tomorrow, bright blues and whites. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? You changed what's that your, shit back right shoot? now. Or what's, uh, what's your applicable social... Um, <laughs> And, and it doesn't it? subterfuge. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, we've got two dots in subterfuge. Team so tomorrow. So subterfuge manipulation. Yeah. Is that what it pairs with? Away, yeah. dude. I don't wear this normally. Um. Oh man. Two. One minus one. Back down to nothing. Back okay, down so, to nothing. <laughs> so what do you say? Um. This way, kids. This way, kids. <laughs> this sounds like the creepy guy. That's why kids. That's why kids. This way, here, kids. Kid. Come here. Can I help him? We all float down here. <laughs> That's right. This should be what you're doing. One of the kids stops and goes, "What's going on?" That's where I'll step up and I'll be yeah. like, "Everything's okay. Just exit the building." No, Call no, somebody. don't exit. Go to the safe room. Stay, stay low. <laughs> They could hide Roll your manipulation in your subterfuge. I want it to maintain chaotic, so I had to have disagree soothe, with whatever well. he said. Hmm? He has soothe. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Oh, are you talking about charisma soothe? soothe? Well, do you want to use soothe? Because you have to spend a quantum. I'll spend a quantum. I think you get like three. I, I don't really spend something. quantum other than my power, so. That's, that's, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the game works. No, I'm talking about. If you right. want to move fast like him, you have to spend quantum. I don't have like speed. Him. Oh, what did you get? I had stealth, strength, and intrusion. Okay, cool. So, I'll just say, uh, everyone remain calm, get to a safe place, and wait for further instruction. Roll it. There All we right. go. Uh, That's the way to see. talk to people. So, don't offer them candy. Come on, man. <laughs> Mega Charisma. Are you walking out of the hall in your team tomorrow suit? I was hoping they'd all pile in here and okay. hide. But this doesn't sound like they're command? coming in here anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. they said that uh, they're going to go to sub basement one and lock uh, down. Subterfuge. But they're all freaking subterfuge. Out. Panicking. So that'd be under manipulation. Yeah, because you're lying. Um, it says they have to roll their wits against mm. you. Okay, so one, two, three. A wits roll and score four. more successes or spend a point of willpower to overcome suit effects. Oh, that kind of sucks. Ew. Okay, so one, two, and then here's my mega, mega charisma. That's a fail. Okay. So two? So one. One. Okay, so the crowd resists the effects of your soothe. With their four dice, they roll two successes. 
You know what's funny about <laughs> Soothe? Is there's no role for it. It just says stress drains away, leaving them happier and calmer. No one affected by Soothe can attack or take any hostile actions. Ooh, that's awesome. Unless they make a witch roll and score more successes than you on your Soothe roll. Oh, so there's a Soothe roll. There's so, or spend a point of willpower. So two or more above what he rolls. So they roll. Oh, they have to roll two or more above? That's what he said, isn't it? Two or more above. Score more successes. Oh, or successes. more successes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they did. So they continue to freak out. You see some staff come around the corner down the hallway. They haven't seen you yet. And they're starting to motion to the kids to follow them. Okay. I'll let that be. Duck I'll duck room. back in the room. <laughs> back to camel. Okay. If you want to duck back in the room, give me a stealth roll so you can move back before they see you. Yeah. More rolling. More chances to fail. One, two, three, four, five. I, mean, I just step around the corner. One, two. You can. Yes. That's why three. I bought that. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I'm not sure what That's that cut. is. Four. And then... There it goes. Five, six. Five, six. Yeah, okay. They don't even notice you. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they don't even notice you guys. Those megas sometimes work out really well. Mm -hmm. So they're clearing out the upper floor, and you guys duck back into the classroom. I become you can one hear with the wall. one of the staff going room by room down the hallway, checking for people. You, on the other hand, you hold up the chunk of dirt, and I mean, you can hear them discharging their weapons. There's a high pitched whine that builds up, and then like a low. Almost subsonic boom that happens when they pull the trigger. Uh, the dirt seems unaffected and seems to be shielding you from their blasts. Char yells, we've got to cut the electricity, and runs back towards the building. And he takes two of the shots to the chest. They throw him backwards, and he hits the dirt, his flames guttering out almost completely except for the hair on his head. And he looks weak. Uh... How is the facility set up? Is it like outer wall and then inner building? It's just one huge, massive square with mm -hmm. an inner courtyard. Okay, so could I jump to the inner courtyard, or is that covered? You can jump to the inner courtyard. Okay. Uh, that dirt pile is still up to protect... I mean, you're the... holding it up. I'm holding it up? Is there a way I can, like, Try wedge it? prop it up? Yeah, prop it up, or... I mean, do you want to take an action to make sure that it stays up? Yes, I want to make it take an action and make sure it stays up. <laughs> you do. <laughs> All right, so you ram it into place. You make sure that it's pretty solid. The shots they're taking from their guns seem to have no effect on the dirt at all whatsoever. So yep. they've been moving it. That's why I'm making so, sure that we have a safe spot. Okay, so you push up this earth rampart mm -hmm. and jump for the courtyard. Yep. Dude, this must be how you got your superhero name. Get the rampart. You launch yourself into the courtyard. Um, a couple of them are going to take pot shots at you. Are you going to try to dodge and twist while you're in the air? Are you just going to take it like a man? Oh, I'll definitely dodge. Okay. <clears throat> dodge I once, don't know. dodge twice. There's three shots. Dodge three times. Dodge as much as I can. You can cut your dodge action down to three. It just means you have less dice for each. What else would I use my dice for? Oh, you're Dodging saying... Dodging more... Dodging with for months, for dodge months. effectively, or you can dodge a lot of times less effectively. Okay. What's your dodge die pool? Let's Athletics see. and dexterity. Or martial arts. Or martial arts. Well, I have two in martial arts, two in athletics, and two in dexterity. Oh. So, so four. Four. So four. Do you have any mega decks? No. Oh, you don't dodge. So every time that um, you want to dodge. If you want to dodge three times, you subtract three dice pool from the first action, which is four, so you get one die, and then subtract more from each action. So you can't dodge three times. If you dodge twice, your first dodge die pool is two, and your second one is one. You can spend a willpower to get three extra dice on one of those if you want to. Mm. Or you can just dodge once and hope for the best. Would my dodge once happen 
for the first attack, or would it be for the first one that hits me? I can try to dodge it. For the first attack. For the first attack. I think I would be better off splitting them up. Okay, so you have two dice and one dice. If you dodge twice. Okay. Okay, so the first one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good luck. Five, six. Roll six zeros. I rolled zero success. Two fours. Okay. We'll take care of that in a second. Mm-hmm. Second one. Uh, second one <laughs> does not hit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't even there's, roll there's that. Third die. one. There's <laughs> the weird way these things work out. Sometimes. Yeah. Third one does not hit. Wow. So the first one's gonna hit. Okay. The only time you try to dodge, it fails. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, three. No soak. Remove three quantum from your quantum pool. Do do do. So I take three. Just levels. Of, no, no, no health levels. No just, health levels. Just remove three quantum just from your quantum oh, pool. One, two, this three. is the anti. Okay. So it hits you, and for a split second, there's like this like wave of weird force that strikes you, and this strange blue luminescence exits the back of your body <laughs> and just blows off of you, and you feel mm-hmm. slightly weaker. Okay. You fly Not through okay. the air into the middle of the courtyard. Skadoosh. You land. You're in the middle of the building. Yeah, I land hard. Yep. You, yeah. Because <laughs> I the spent... Ground. The points to make sure I kept it up. That last term. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> you guys do hear like skadoof, and the building kind of shakes a little bit. All right. Um, what else do you? You land. I'll give you a couple actions before I switch back over. Okay. Uh, I'm looking around for whatever he said. Electricity. So we have to cut the electricity. That's yeah. what he said. There's a generator in the corner of the courtyard. Is there something I can pick up and throw at it? You would have to wrestle free part of the ground. It's all paved in here, so you can pull up some of the pavement. Yeah, I'll pull up some pavement and chuck. You got Mega Strength 2 now. I got Mega Strength 5. Do People you? are pouring through the breach in the back of the building behind you into the courtyard. What happens when you lose quantum? Do you lose power? If you lose all your quantum, you pass out. But if you don't lose all the nothing? It's an all or nothing game? Yeah, they're trying to cut you down. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'll... Uh... I'll pick up a... I don't know if I have movement. Probably no. My movement was to jump. Your movement was to jump, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll pick up a piece of concrete and chuck it at the generator. Hope I hit it. Okay. You're going to get three more shots this round. Oh, they're inside the courtyard too? Yeah, they're pointing through. He ran through both walls. Mm, Okay. And then there was a skirbuffle and he was ejected back out. If that's the case, maybe... If I see them, could I instead make another... Pull up a part of the pavement and try to make another shielding. You can make a shielding, but that would keep you from throwing this round. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so you push a bunch of concrete up behind you, and you hear their weapons discharging. Mm-hmm. You can also hear them running around the sides of the chunk that you've lifted. That's fine. So they're going to have line of sight on you in a second. If nothing else, I'm a distraction. For sure. That's how it always is mm-hmm. with you. I mean, I am the distraction, so mm-hmm. I feel like I'm doing my job. Um, you guys in the room, make your perception, roll it. Just it? Perception awareness. Okay. The rest of you guys can roll too. It's just, uh, it'll be harder for you to see it. For just, it's an awareness. Increased difficulty, so difficulty eight. For me too? You can spend one of your megas one, to lower back to seven. Two. I mean, I already rolled, so I'll just, one. uh, Fuck. take the eight. <laughs> one. Ten, ten, one. So, uh, I still got a one success. success. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Yeah, I got one it? success as well. Well, it's up to the guy. This is going to be it. One. Nope. Eights are better. Oh, yeah, Two. Just, just one. Or just one. Just one. One. We all got one. enough. I mean, you guys, <laughs> the lights are still on, and there's a camera in the corner of the room. Sweet. So we'll have to take the tapes when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Just gone. <laughs> okay. um, I stand behind the door and I say, Get his ID. 
There's a guy going door to door. You Hopefully, tell me. I say it to the two of you that are standing next to each other. Oh, you want that guy's ID? The guy that's going to come in, I'm going to close the door behind him, which is why I'm standing right here, and I say, get his ID. Okay, We're going to need that in. to get past. Yep. Okay. Do you guys want our own issue? Yeah. I guess we do. Guess yes. We do. Uh, if you ask that question, then not... yes. Yeah. Five, What's six, the initiative again? Seven. Dex and Wits. Dex and Wits. This guy's fucked. Yep. He's a baseline. We don't know that. I said if he is. Do I get mega decks on this? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> That's a success. That's not part of it. Oh. Six, oh. seven, eight, six, but roll that again. Nine, ten. Yep. Okay. So, two. Three. Three. Okay. And then 10. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> Who got 10? Like, he got 10. Matt. Just let me blow it out of the water here. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Those so, Vegas, man. You roll a zero on them. He opens yeah. the door. I guess streetwise, can I pickpocket with that? <laughs> pickpocket? He got to see you, dude. We're gonna, yeah. He, so He's not leaving this, this is room. This his action. He opens the door, leans in. He sees you guys. <laughs> and gets ready to run like fuck. <laughs> and he's reaching for his radio. So his action is going to be to click the radio and say something and run. That well, If that he gets an action, that that'll be happen. what he does. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing, Brian? Um, I am going... He's not all the way in the room. Yeah, but I am... St- Behind the door. I'm hoping... This is how teamwork works. So I am going to kick the door closed. Sweet. And oh, I'm, looking in. I am hoping he will that they're the going to be pulling him inside. Okay, so you but see I, him getting ready to kick the, the door That's the whole reason closed. that I, I, I was like, what do you do? Teamwork do makes the dream work. I'm going to grab the radio and crush it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and hope he pulls him in. I love how you said teamwork makes the dream work before you did that. Okay, yeah. what are you doing? Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream in. work. I'm not cooperating. Him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab his arm mm-hmm. and pull him in. The, one, the radio <laughs> arm and pull him in. Teamwork okay. makes the dream work. What are you talking okay. about? Okay. Uh, this is the best teamwork we've ever had. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> grab him. <laughs> okay. What's grabbing? Uh, brawl? Brawl, and, uh, brawl and strength, yeah. Are you attempting to inflict damage when you grab him? No. Cool. Can I do mega strength with this, though? No. Mega strength is what would be happening if you inflicted damage. That's right. Yeah, his arm would come off. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You'd and sauce brawl. it. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, did you see that roll? One, two, three, four, five, Lots six. Six. Do seven, you have mega decks? Seven, eight. No, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Six. Just six. Do you have mega decks? It's not decks. It's this is strength and roll. Oh, strength. Strength yeah, and make, oh, you don't okay. Strength. So yeah, it's good. you grab him and yank him in. He's going to try to abort his action to get the fuck out of the way of your grab. He's not going to make it, but he's like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> that looked in the wrong math class. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> one, two, one, two. So he's like, oh, shit. And you're like, Kink! and you yank him in. As I crush the radio. And okay. Grab it. You grab the radio and crush it. Do you want me to and roll it for it? Okay. Oh, I just crush it. I'm, you're just just like, I'm glad, glad we can't use that to listen to whether or not they hear it. There's a here. horrible feedback. He already was about to press the uh, beep. Yeah. As he's crushing it, odds and evens. It's always evens. Man. It is evens. It's fine. Look at that. You don't touch the button. (laughs) (laughs) I'm smarter than that. I know it has a button on the side. Yeah, I mean, all of the pieces of the uh, electronic equipment inside are all becoming one, so I just want to make sure it was on a feedback line as it dies. 
Okay. I close the door behind him. Okay. There's lots Deep of breath. feedback Deep going breath. on with all these guys shooting shit, probably. He's like, who are you? What do you want? So his action is just like, he's going to try to not die and just be like, who are you? What do you want? What do you want? What are you doing, G? Um, I'm going to take his badge because we might need that to swipe through doors. And then I look at you and I look at the smashed open window. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. What are you going to do, Ryan? Uh, I don't really want to kill people. <laughs> You're not going to hold on the him? second floor. He's 90% chance fine. 10% chance fine. 90% chance just fucking dead. <laughs> he can probably take a second story drop. If you drop him legs down and not die, he'll be fucked up. I just got Is the mental image of it being Somewhere like... I could um, cuff him to in here. Do you have cuffs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh bolt. yeah! Oh yeah! I got, a cuff. I got both old cuffs, man. <laughs> I got the funny evens. Mental. It's always evens. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything immediately available. You can cuff him to a desk, but the desks are mobile. Like he could grab the, the desk wall's not out. mobile. True, the wall's not mobile. All right, I push him up against. I grab one of the desk legs. I break it off, chink, and I bend it around and shove it into the wall to where he can't move. Okay. Kind of hold him in place. He's like, like what a, do you want? What do you want? And I do it again. <laughs> against his legs, too, so he can't actually move at all. Okay. And I'm going to do it against the back wall where the window was. Okay. So that way it doesn't, like, shove through or anything. Okay. I got it, does the... shove, it does go through. Yeah, but he's he pinned in place. Sure. I got the funny mental image of someone trying to check him out the window that's not broken and have it it be like bulletproof glass or something. It's pretty strong. (laughs) Just (laughs) saw him on the window. Oh, God. Shit. (laughs) So I just tie him into the wall. Okay. He's like, what do you want? Why are you here? I rip his shirt off, wrap it around. What the fuck are you doing? (laughs) Why are you ripping his shirt off? Okay. He's gagging. And then handcuff him. (laughs) This is. He's quiet. You're ripping him, <laughs> his shirt off well, so after handcuffing okay, him. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. I'm going to just, I'm going to use Soothe and I'm going to go, relax. We're not here to hurt anybody. You're fine. You don't want to do that because it only works within 10 meters. And the minute he's outside of that 10 meters, it stops. 10 meters is 30 feet, but you're going to go farther away than that. I mean, you could just calm him down if you want, but... Yeah, I don't want him screaming. Yeah, just say, okay, spend a we're here to stop the invaders. Yeah. Or, uh, I just <laughs> pinioned him against the wall. Yeah, well, I, I mean, say, you're not relax. playing it quite the way I'd envisioned we it. We pulled him in and broke his radio, and you kicked the door shut behind him. I think the plan was already done. <laughs> he knows he's fucked. <laughs> I'm saying... Yeah. He put really? his hands up. That's when he you're getting like, robbed, oh, okay? <laughs> relax. We're spend a quantum. Okay. Mm. Keeping track of quantum is going to be very important. Do you learned with me? Okay, yeah, I guess. Okay, roll it. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be manipulation again. And sure. Subterfuge. He's he's crying. He's you like she's like one two. He's just quiet. Uh, and then how many seconds? Two more. So four. Okay. Um, okay, so it works on him. He starts to calm down. Here, <laughs> <walk him. laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> While you rip his shirt off. Open the door. <laughs> okay. The hallways are empty. Uh, is there fire escape? Stairways down. Uh, right now, you're just in one big long hallway. That's what you see. There's a big hallway. You guys entered at the back of the back of the building, like mm-hmm. right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Into a classroom. Yep, mm-hmm. into a classroom. Across from you, there's other rooms mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. look like if you look in, there's windows and shades. One of the shades is up, looks like a dorm room. And there's just one big long hallway that curves around. That's what you can see. Mm-hmm. Left or right. But there's no. Uh, well, from here, signs. we want to go left because. 
to the right is where he is. Hey, actually, while he's doing that, I want to look around for a in case of emergency, blah blah blah. A fire extinguisher? No, a plan in case oh, of emergency. That's map. where you go. Oh, yeah, the there evacuation is, plan. There is a map on the inside door that's of the classroom. That's Thank that you. Shows like a red path going uh, to the right and around, and, and then you are here. Yeah, and you are here, and then it's like there's a stairwell over here, and the stairwell goes down, and then it has a second floor plan for the first sub basement. You go all the way down the stairs to the first sub basement, and then you go around, and there's a big, huge room in the middle. It's the emergency room. It's like the emergency bunker. I mean, at least it gets kind of in the right direction. I ripped that off the wall. Let's go. Meanwhile, yep. you are about to be bombarded. So the, oh, way, so they, the way it works is every action that you take to defend yourself will keep mm-hmm. you from getting shot, but it will also keep you from taking a shot at the generator. Okay. I You'll have to leave yourself open to take a shot at the generator. I am planning on using those places I lift up to allow safe places for the speedster to run to. If that makes sense. You guys don't have a speedster. No, we don't have a speedster. We don't? They oh, the flame shade, guy. Sluice, Char, and you. Char's okay. fast. He's fast. But he's not like... You know, he can get from one fast. of my lift or one of my bunker things to another one. He would have been able to. He's also just a okay. dying flame now. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to leave myself open once at least to okay. shoot the. So you're gonna get they're gonna come around the sides and you get shot from either side. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and destroy the generator. So do I roll athletics and dexterity to hit it? Athletics, dexterity. You should just run up to it. <laughs> yeah. Could, but there'd be more of them that could take shots at you then. How would it work if I pushed off of the thing? Could I leap and Into land it? on it? Sure. You could leap, You could just jump strip and land on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's still going to be an athletics roll to target what you want to with your body. Okay. Yeah, my You're hope, basically though, throwing yourself. Yeah. and Maybe if you miss, you'll go out of sight, line of sight from the, that, through the building. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's partially because I wanted to push off the thing so I don't get a ton of air. I had to get the air initially to get over the building, over the building but now I can push myself off of that to try to get to there without go making ahead. crazy line of sights. So athletics and dexterity. Yep. To success. Okay, that's enough. It's not going to dodge. But you're gonna the generator's get... not going to dodge? Two guys are going to shoot at you. Okay. Guy number one. One, two, three. Three. So I need two extra dice. One. So lose one quantum. Okay. Oh, this guy does not hit you. He pulls the trigger, and you see the wave of energy harmlessly wash over one of his friends. When they pull the trigger in the gun, then there's that loud subsonic thump after the wine. Mm-hmm. It looks like, you know, uh, the weird heat shimmer that you see above a grill? That's what it looks like shoots out mm-hmm. of the end of the gun. Okay. But if it hits a Nova, you see, like, it peels off a bunch of luminescent blue energy from them. Uh, when it hits baseline, apparently nothing happens. Okay. They're not even physically affected. You feel a push when it hits you, but you weigh so much, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You throw yourself the generator and destroy it. Do you wish to go through it into the building? Um, Debating on how much I want to play at being a Terrigen. <laughs> <laughs> Less than you probably should. <laughs> I'll just aim Eat. at... So at the angle that I am, yep. would I naturally go through the building, or would if I? If you don't try and stop yourself, yes. I'll try to just barely hit it, but I'm planning on going through it. So I'm not going to go through it at like full force, but I'm going to. If you want to go, if you want to destroy it and go into the building, I mean, you're, it'll have to be like you throwing yourself through the building, right? You're going to go through mm-hmm. it because you launch yourself with a mega strength of five, like. 25 successes to break that thing with density of insanity. Fair. Uh, you go through it like it's not there, like tissue yeah, paper. I'm going to stop myself. Okay. 
So you reach down and grab the ground and stop yourself. But you're in a mess of it. Mm-hmm. Hey, and you got some cover. They're yeah. like, get him, get him now. Nice cover. And they're pouring out of the hole. You can look back through the hole and see Char lying on the ground. Uh, his hair is no longer flaming. He has, like, just totally bald scalp. Okay. And he looks to be unconscious. Uh, you don't see Shade. And Sluice is freezing people from behind the rampart that you made for her as they try to get line of sight on her. Nice. Okay. You guys are out in the hallway. As soon as you see another camera, the power goes out. Sweet. And you can hear what sounds like epic destruction happening in the courtyard. I think they're doing their job. We're going to keep following the evacuation plan, I suppose. We got no other map. Okay. So you guys go down the hallway. It's to the right. Mm. Just the evacuation plan. Is... I mean, this is like a big square donut. Is, yep. Yes. Is it like equidistant either way? Uh, you just the evacuation plan calls for you to go down to the right. Is it equidistant? Like what? Are the steering wheels? Like if you go the, if you go this way, if we went to the left instead of to the right, yeah, would it be about the same to yep. get to the stair? Yep. Come on, we're trying to avoid the everything that way. Sure, we just know where we're going. Yeah. Okay. So you guys go to the left. You go to the stairwell. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you're going around to the left, there are some people still upstairs running towards the stairwell. Yep. We join them. Okay. In you the guys. panic. Funnel yeah. in. Kind of, kind of crouch, run. Like we're scared. Okay. All right. Most of them are young, like kids. There are a couple older adults. One of them looks at you and, and she goes, what's happening? Do you know what's happening? It's on the south side. <laughs> Don't run away! <laughs> no, I don't say that. <laughs> Come on, Matt. This is where you shine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, <laughs> rainbow butts. Yeah. <laughs> it's, er, you'll be fine. Just get with the others. Okay. Uh, are you trying to influence her in any way, shape, or form? Are you just trying to pass yourself off as one of them? Yeah. Yep. So you want me to just uh, manipulation subterfuge subterfuge? I won't try to soothe. Okay, just gonna one two. Can you use soothe backwards? No, to terrify. That's like That's a separate other power. I think mm-hmm. two. like a face of terror or something. A uh, face of terror is good. Yeah, <laughs> two two successes. I should get that. Okay, so they're just like okay, and you guys join the stream moving downstairs there. Staff members there. Uh, towards the end of the stairway, you see one of the staff members looking people over and checking something. Ugh. <laughs> That's where you come into play. <laughs> yep, so we're going to be the last ones, right? So you guys drift towards the back of the crowd? Yep. Well, I just assumed we were already at the back of the crowd, but yeah. There are more people coming in behind you. Are there other... Exit points from the stairwell. Yeah, there's a first floor exit point. I mean, there. By the time that you get into the stairwell, there are staff in the stairwell. If you These staff are so good in emergency, most staff would just panic and leave. Mm-hmm. What the this fuck, is what man? They do. This is their job. <laughs> well, they're good at their job. I should mm-hmm. commend them. <laughs> good at your job. Uh. I'm gonna get lost in the crowd, um, and. So I just kind of took a quick look at the map, and I'm assuming, I'm hoping you guys can keep up. <laughs> okay. Nothing bugs him. Mm-hmm. He can fall back on Cypher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can't do that. Mm-mm. We can either fall back on your talking or rough someone up. Yeah, you, you talk your way, and you outpace them. Yeah, you can speed. Yeah, I can speed by them. run through them, but I don't want to, like, run through them. Yeah. I mean, it's full of people. Though. But I think I could shuffle my way into the like hustle where they don't notice me. Like people are probably crowding to. in. You can try to go where they don't notice. I'm sure they're you. trying to check everyone off because they're all like piling through. Yep, they're elbow trying to, to check elbow. everyone off, but you can attempt to hide in the crowd. Is that a skill? <laughs> it's stealth. Can Is you it? speed yeah. fly over everybody? That would definitely be drawing attention to myself. Mm-hmm. And if I you I went suppose. fast enough, it would fuck people up. Yeah, I'm okay. not gonna let like you'd rip heads off and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do Random that. Random kit. <laughs> I'll, I'll get myself lost in the shuffle, and you can also try to do that. Okay. So um, you're going to roll against his perception awareness. And we're you're rolling stealth? I don't know. Are you? What are you doing? That's what he's doing. That's what I do. I'll do that. I'll do, try to do the same thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, three, four, five. That's sad. I also with got his, five. With his six dice. Okay, so <laughs> five for Dex, three for Stealth. There you go. One, two, three, two. Three. Four, five. Yeah, so five. More than that. The ten on the mega counts is three successes. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Five, five. Okay, so Ty's go to Defenders. You guys make it through. Barely. Nice. <laughs> Skin of our fucking teeth, man. Yep. <laughs> How's like, this guy so... He's point, really good at his job. I feel like this guy goes, needs a name. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> his tag says Johnson. Of course it does. Yes, it does. So, um... Big. At one point, he's like... Hey, uh, do I know? Oh, and then someone bumps him. And he's like, hey, 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 stop bumping, stop pushing. So he almost catches you and then gets distracted. And he comes in right behind me. Mm-hmm. You guys are just like, <laughs> you go through. I like how you can just walk through and people don't even know you're there. You're just like, hey there. I mean, they kind of know. They noticed that there was another person that went by. But... Checked off something. He doesn't even know what he checked off. <laughs> right, he's just like, whatever. A name. Yeah, there's like a random tally in the corner that he won't remember why I made. <laughs> like, mm, all right. <laughs> a doodle. <laughs> okay, so you guys are through. There are more staff in the hallways, but these guys seem less aware of who's who. Mm-hmm. But they are walking around. Yeah. They're moving you guys towards the emergency bunker. All right. Uh, my next thing is going to be try to jump to, uh, or close to the guy who's out, to try to pick him up and move him to cover. He didn't make it through the building again. He's still yeah. out front. So you're going to go over the south J- of the building, jumping out of the building again. All right, you're going to take a few shots. Yep, I'm aware. All right. Uh, do I dodge for this, or is my action going to be for picking him up? Uh, I mean, if you want to get there and pick him up this round and do what? I want to move to cover. So that's okay. going to be. Uh, turn That's a two, lot of stuff. Yeah so, yeah. so you can either dodge on the way over the building mm-hmm. and then get him and go to cover next round, or you can not dodge, grab him and get to cover this round. I will dodge. I'll put all my dodge on. No. I'll put my dodge, split it, 2 1 again. Yep. And get there to him, turn to. I'll grab him and move him to cover. Okay. You should roll initiative with these guys. Okay. So, Just so we know who's going first. Where, let's see, initiative is... Wits and dexterity. Dexterity, two. Mm-hmm. Wits. Oh, wits. I, I thought you said what's dexterity. No, wits and dexterity. Uh, wits is three. Okay, so roll five dice. Zero. Sweet. Okay, you ready to dodge? Yep. No, I don't roll until you hit. Shot number one. One, two, three. Dodge of one. Okay, so you get hit. Shot number two. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Minus one. Five. Five. <laughs> okay, so the first one has, what, two extra dice? The second one has four extra dice? Mm-hmm. So one, two, three, four, five minus two is three. So lose three your first time. Mm-hmm. Where are you at quantum wise? Uh, I got plenty still. Okay. Man, I was so confused mm. when you kept saying they reduce your quantum. I thought you meant none. One. Quantum. None. None. Oh, none. nice. 
That doesn't take long to churn through. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, man, how are you still up? There's like, how do you even have quantum left? Like yeah, quantum, quantum pool. pool. Quantum it's pool. It's sucking the quantum pool out of them. I'd have been gone on the first shot with the regular quantum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have node of three, so my quantum is actually really nice. Robust. Okay. So I can actually probably tank like three or four more hits of these. But I you mean, don't want to. I don't want to. You're going to because at the beginning of the next round, they act first. Mm, so they okay. see you going for the cover. Yep. And they get to take shots Apparently, first. Apparently, Char uses all his quantum in his off time. I'm hoping that they're less <laughs> out he <got> there. <laughs> I'm hoping that there's less of them out there because she's also been freezing them, too. So there's one, which is enough. It'll be two shots. And then one, two, two. So the first one is six dice. One, two, three, four. And then the second one is seven dice. One, two, two. So four and two is six. So the first one, I got a negative one. Okay. So I don't know if that adds more to my their dice pool. <laughs> like I dodge into it. No, uh, you're not dodging. You're just running for the thing, right? You're grabbing him and running for the rampart. Oh. Is grabbing him because that doesn't have a dice pool, so I don't know if that's like uh, an action. Okay, I'll let you dodge. Okay. Well, the first one you didn't. Okay, and the second one I rolled a nine, so minus one. The second one, then you miss, so you only have to get four. You take four quantum. Four quantum or whatever. Yeah. The second one misses you. You okay. make it to the rampart. Okay. Go go distraction. Okay, you guys are in the basement. So basement one, you're moving towards the emergency bunker with the flow of people. Okay. Any other signs as we're passing? Like no markings, indicators. Anything look high security? Really high security? I mean the lights are all off. It's dark. There's emergency lights on, red lights in the hallway. Everything's bathed in a red glow. Sorry, that's <laughs> just having some bad thoughts. <laughs> okay. As we're pushing through, what are we doing? I say quietly. The stairwell ended too at sub basement one, just so you know. Yeah, we need to find the next way down. Uh, I have no clue. This is your area of expertise. I've you're, never been here. you're the military guy. Not like I've ever been here. Oh, great. Maybe Mary should have told us where to go. Maybe all Mary military bases are the same. <laughs> Sub basement go. level two. Southwest corner. Southwest. Are we in the southwest corner? Okay. I got my compass. Um, I pick up my you compass. Guys, when we looked at the map, it's got to be. You came around. So the front door was to the west, the back wall was in the east. You guys came down to the left, so you're on the south side of the building, and you're moving towards the southeast corner is where the flow of traffic is leading you. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's possible, but what if there's a door opening in the north side of the building of the you're southwest, me now. and we're just, oh, God damn it. Okay, we'll turn around. What are your thoughts, G? Yeah, we step out of the flow of traffic and let them... We're gonna go back. Okay, the whole hallway is just you guys have to push against the flow of people. Mm. Are there other doors along this hallway? There are other doors along the hallway. It looks like you're in like a weird basement of a Think of a school or something like that. There's like the conduit along the wall. The pipes ran along the ceiling. Mm -hmm. It's all concrete block painted to uniform institutional gray. There are other doors off to the sides. And everyone is heading toward the southeast corner from here. And they're going and around the corner. And going around the corner back up along the, the, east the north south on the east side of the wall. Yep. Um, I don't think we should risk continuing to go because all that we're going to find is more people on the other side coming the other way. So we're either going to go into the safe room or we're going to break free. So I'm going to push toward the inner wall 
the inner, the one like below the courtyard. Yep. And up against the wall as people are passing. Okay, so you stop moving. All right. Yeah, sounds fair. Okay. People are passing you. One of the one of the staff that works there passes with the flow of people. He says, "Stay with the group." I act like I'm gonna go on them. Yeah, (laughs) right. But start moving until he looks away, and then duck down, and then (laughs) go back to the original location. Sure. And then once the flow is flow of traffic's gone. I mean, there are people in the back, staff members, that are going to come with the back end of the group that will try to scoop you along. I feel like mm-hmm. we can get inside one of these doors. I feel like you don't have enough quantum pool, okay. and that's going to be a problem for you. Hmm. These doors are locked. You're supposed to have 20 plus quantum times two. So you're supposed to have 28 total. Make sure you have the right number. Because mm-hmm. you're getting low, and I noticed that... There might be not 30 stretched. bucks in there. I forget. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So you have an, an extra window of four there that you didn't may know. be a problem. Mm-hmm. I was looking Wait, over. I was like, "You have a lot of white over there. That's not good." <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. So um, the end of the group is coming, and there's some staff people with them, sleeping people. On. Are any of these doors locked? They're locked. You can try one, but you find it locked. Are they card swipe locked or key locked? Card swipe locked. Okay, so do you want to try to make a stealth roll? Yep, so that to. it's like not totally apparent. You're like, look out, guys, I'm opening the door. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Just kind you of fall back into the door. Wait until people aren't looking and then try to go in. Yeah, well, I wait until the crowd is everywhere because that's when the you're less likely to notice everywhere. anything else. That's when you're not going to be noticed. Hide in plain sight. One, two, three, about. four. Four. Four on stealth? Mm-hmm. Okay, for you, guys, roll it? for you guys, the difficulty will be two more. Two more. So I will just use my two mega decks and make it a normal difficulty. Okay. One, two, three, two. As in the three. difficulty... Of four, like you're counting nines and tens. I use my two mega decks to, to reduce lower it by back two. down to seven. Three with okay. standard difficulty. All okay. right, for yeah, that, it'll be two higher. That's what I'll do. So How many did you get? Four, five. Okay, so G goes first, and he just kind of fades into the doorway. As usual, I'll do the same thing Ryan did. Use my two mega decks. Okay, Ryan is in the doorway next. One, two. There's no windows in these three, doors. Two, two, two. Two. Okay, so you get in the doorway. You get in the doorway. As you're going to get in the doorway, one of the guards says, Hey, that door's not supposed to be open. Come with us. And he grabs hold of your arm and starts to steer you into the crowd, and he shoulders the door shut. So you got we caught. need it. <laughs> <laughs> um, through the radio, I say... <laughs> Find out what you can from over there. I don't know if they work anymore. We don't know either. You can hear like some static, but there's a brief burst of static and find out what you can from over there is what he says. Okay. So I go with it. Okay. Yes. Let's party four ways. Only three so far. I look for a vent. (laughs) (laughs) You look for a vent? (laughs) Obviously. Okay. You where guys do you are... want to go? You don't know where the events go? Come on. Well, I also know that there's nobody in there looking. You so throw a little explore. piece of you in there? <laughs> you can. <laughs> throw your thumb. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are in the room. There's strange equipment in the room. There's what looks like a medical table. There's one of those big medical lights that swings over. There's a bank of computers that are all dead along one wall. Um, the floor is all tiled up to about your waist. It's all floor tile. And everything in there oh, is no. stainless steel. Hmm. It's a kill room. Or a kitchen. <laughs> or a kill room. <laughs> it looks like it's got a full medical suite. Oh, it's a it's a heel room. It's a kitchen. Um hmm. 
but there's no no sort of security monitors or anything like that from here. It's all off right now. There are emergency lights on. And yeah. That's going to take a while right. to fix that generator. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. if the power's out, that's going to be... Mm. Well, there's emergency power, but just for... All right, so there's one entrance to this room. Mm -hmm. Good. There is a vent. And yeah, who... Yeah, climate control. There is a vent. Return ducts. All right. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, go to a couple and see if I get any uh, sense of airflow through any of them. Yeah, there is a return vent on the floor and there is a ceiling vent. How much time in. has it, passed? Uh, not very much. Okay. Yeah, we're like a minute or so. Yeah, you guys are running a couple or I actually even say it all. I Maybe think five. they must have some offsite generators. They're going to boot up. Probably takes about 15 minutes then. So, yeah, there's no airflow right now. Okay, um, so I go and I disintegrate into. Oh my god! Into the, <laughs> Every into time the, you do that, <laughs> and you just pour yourself into that. Okay, I'm splitting yourself fifty-fifty, or he's going for it. I'm just going all into this one. Okay, he just pours himself into the vent. You didn't even say anything. I was gonna say, how long are you gonna be? How are you gonna be? I yell in the vent. <laughs> B. <laughs> Can he talk in swarm form? No. <laughs> Can he com use his communicator? His communicator has been broken down with him due to attunement. You have attunement, right? I have. Yeah, he has a little. Because I think he it's justified it's his like clothes. clothes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. That's right. I had to take a dot in Ufaber. So you have no attunement? Correct. Really? Yep. Okay, so he leaves a pile of clothes there, including his communicator. Oh, so you don't wear clothes. You just wear your Mm-hmm. Yeah, so whatever gear he had, yep. he leaves. So all that's left where I was is that dude's ID card. And the communicator. <laughs> and the earbud communicator that you had. The ID card, damn it. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put it in my pocket. And we explore. Okay, what do you do? I Give him a little time. He's going to come back, right? Okay. This would be so easy if I went the other way with density control. Just saying. Yeah, Lightness. You, you just go. sink through the floor. Sink through the floor. Attunement to the person that we're getting out. Yep. Rise up back up. Yeah, but you decided not to come with the espionage party. Yeah, and I also decided to not do that kind of density control. Oh, sure. Because you choose it as you oh, buy it. You either can do one other. way or the other. All right. Okay, so Matt, you're being pulled along with the crowd. They're moving you towards, there it looks like a big, huge garage door. It's been lifted, uh, but it's super thick. The metal, like, links that come down or the metal panels that kind of hinge up and come down are, like, yay thick. And there's a big room in the middle full of people milling about, like, talking to each other, uh, sitting at tables and stuff. And off in a corner, there's a guy saying, all right, everybody, just be calm. It's cool. We're going to get everybody out of here in a minute. Don't worry. Gotta get out of there, man. <laughs> you go into the room with everybody else? No, I don't want to go in the room with everybody else. I want to get back to my friends. Okay. Like all of the people in the hallway are pouring into that room from both sides. I'm going to get to the edge. Okay, so you get to the hallway. edge. Sure. And start... Weaseling my way back. The staff that was with you was like, come on, we have to go in. Talk your way out of it. It's all right. Talk I, to, I want to go check and make sure on the back of the group that everybody gets in before I do. And I sue them. All right, roll it. It's been one quantum. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is this, what do you want me to do? Uh, You're lying to them, so it's always a refuge if you lie. Something. It's manipulation and subterfuge if you're lying, and you're lying. Oh. So four. One, two, three. Four. Uh, and then two more would be six, five. Six. Six. There's six. Okay. Four plus two. So he's like, okay, just make sure you get there. Yeah. He walks in. Okay, Dad. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm like just kind of letting everybody pass and I'm scooching back, 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 back towards. Okay. I mean, there's a couple of staff at the very end and they're going to try and sweep you up. I'm going to have to do the same thing to them. Sure you are. No, I'm just going to say, yeah, I know what I'm going to say. That's cool. Okay. Go ahead. Do they say, I, I'm going to say. Forgot my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some students upstairs. I need to go get them. Make your roll. Uh, okay. Spend the willpower. This is important. Yeah, I'm going to spend the willpower. Not a bad call. So what do I get with that then? Either a success or three extra dice. I'm going to get a success. I would do that. Because if you get three extra dice, it could be three ones. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Speaking from experience. I mean, yes, <laughs> in theory, could, yes. but probably not. Okay, so one, two, three. Right? Yep. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Six. Okay. So they're all soothed. And two of the guys are like, oh, yes, but the third guy's like, I don't know you. What what subgroup are you from? I mean, he seems calmed and pretty happy about life, but it's clear that he has caught on that you don't belong. Get out, get out. Get At this out. point, the rest of the students are from your end are in the room because they're bringing up the very end and it's you and the three of them in the hallway. Do you have mega speed? No, I no, don't. Doesn't. You don't? You didn't take that? No. Nope. I'm backing away and I get 30 meters until they go uh, 30, feet. 30, 30 feet. feet. But like one of them, they might not be really upset about it, but he obviously understands that he doesn't know you. Just make right. it urgent, man. Go, go, go. Yeah. So I'm just like, I can explain when I get back. I'll be right back with the students, and I'm backing up about as far as I can to 30 feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, as soon as you get 30 feet away, they snap out of it. One of them yells, hey, we have an intruder. We have an intruder. And he's yelling. Do I, I step, hear that? I step, What's up? Do I hear well, that? Well, I didn't want to get, I didn't get out of range. I was like stepping back. I mean, okay, so you get 30 feet away. You're still in the hallway. I was going to say, just go inside, and I'll be right back with the students. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about this as when I get back. As soon as you're 30 feet away, he starts yelling. But I didn't get 30 feet away. You are 30 point. feet away. At some point, you're 30 feet away, and you told him to go into the room. No, I stopped before I get to 30 feet away. So he's 29 feet away, and he tells yeah. him to go into the room, but so he's going to go into, into the room, room so he's going to be like, more than 30 feet away unless you follow him. Oh, and then I... And then I Blitz. Okay, so he starts yelling. You right. hear him yelling. Hey, we have an intruder. There's an intruder in the building. So I blitz. Okay, so you're running. I mean, yep. I did see someone leap through the building and run through the building. There's an intruder in the fucking building, okay? <laughs> but now they know that he's an intruder in the building. Whoever he is. Okay, so you start running, and you hear three sets of footsteps running after you. Okay, I am keep running. <laughs> okay, do you stop at the door that he's in? Yeah. I mean, I would see him one day. There's no window in the door. Oh, I'd hear him. I mean, you hear yelling and you hear people running that in the hallway. mega perception. Okay, so roll it. I recognize those footprints. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Damn it, I was just about to say I didn't roll any ones. Two. Oh, wait. Just one of these, sorry. Two. Two. Okay, so you hear him running by. All right. And I heard them yell, there's an intruder. You know, you just hear them yelling. You don't. You can't tell exactly what they're yelling. They were further down the hall, but you can hear them yelling. Should we roll initiative? Sure. Or do, should we go off our old initiatives? We can re-roll. Okay, because um, I'm going to do stuff. <laughs> sure you are. One, two, three, four. Dude, stop rolling so good. Five. Wow, these guys are on top of their shit. <laughs> these guys One, are the true two, heroes. Yeah, right. Three. Oh, but we always go first if they don't have mega decks, right? No. That's or is that on a tie? Ties. Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My mega deck screwed me. <laughs> nice. Give me a one instead of anything. One, two, three, four, five. And which is four. You know, the probability of that happening is really low. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> One, two. And then your Megas. And then pure. F I got to roll wits. That was my dexterity. Wits. Three, four. Three, four. Megas. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Let's do go first. Yeah. I got to get in the door. Okay, so what's your plan? Um, when we started in this journey, in this hallway, mm -hmm. there were just flashing red lights, like backup yep. lights. Yep. Also, how long was the journey into this door? Like, if he's running towards the exit or back towards the building, how long is it going to take him to get there? I mean, he'll probably make it to this door my next round. And the people we saw coming, were they guards or were they staff members? Yes. <laughs> Did they have guns? They had something. They were armed with something. They had a holster. You didn't see what was in the holster. And then they were wearing just a... Blue uniform. Blue uniform. Okay. My plan is to... They're probably going to make it to the door this turn. Next turn, he'll make it, and he's ahead of them. Oh, he just passed me. No, he's running towards the. He's running down the hallway towards your door. Oh, I thought I heard him so far. I mean, you did hear him. You hear him coming. Oh God, I right. I don't know what I should do. <laughs> Open the goddamn door. I don't want you in here. This is a terrible place to be. <laughs> they yeah. can see you come in, and they're yeah. just trapped in the door. And then they the can also room. see you in there, so you're just in, alerting them to one more intruder. They can't see through the door. No, but... But they could see him. Mm -hmm. So they could see him go into a door. Mm -hmm. That'd be a terrible idea. I'll wait until they pass and I'll bash the door into them. Okay, that's your plan. All right, so you're running up towards the door these guys disappeared into. What do you do? If I can't get in it, I'm going to... My... So here's the thing. You don't have the card. I can bash it. The door I understand can't that. stop you. But I don't want to alert... I don't want to have them know where these guys are. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to know in a second anyways. <laughs> I'm going to run past the... So if I can't get in the door, okay. I'm going to run past it, and I'm going to probably join the distraction. Do I have a lot of movement by chance? Like, can I bash the door and then move? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to move on the ceiling into every blinking red light there is. Go back. You're going to what now? I'm going to bash the door as I move out yep. and fly up along the ceiling and hit every blinking red light there is. Oh, it's fly super fast to destroy. Plunge it into darkness? Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> They're going to take shots at you while you're running. We need these guns, guys. So I guess I'm right? going to take my actions to dodge. Okay. How many dodges do you want to pull off? <laughs> All of them? How many are there? There's three of them. Do you have uh, enough dice pool to dodge all of them? And dodge is just dexterity and... Athletics? Athletics. I have five dex, three athletics, eight, and then mega dex of two. Okay. So Ten. how many times do you want to slice your die pool? I bet I can do it... Three times? Twice. Twice? I don't think I'm going to hit three times. Okay, so you have six and five. And then the Mega Dex on top of that. Mega Dex each time, right? Yeah, each time. Okay. So the first guy shoots at you one, two. You could be two. Six. Uh, so one. Uh, well, you still have your Megas, too, so. Two, three. Four, okay. five. Four, five. <laughs> That's right. Second time. One, two, three, four. Spoon. You now have five dice. One, three. two, three, four. And now your Megas. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Mega okay. zeros are so, so you good. Dodge the second one. Third one. This is the one I didn't dodge. One, two, three, four. 
Four. So it's four extra dice. Dodge three times. You might have. With the mega dex, it's actually mega better. Dex. One, two. Oh God. One, two, three, four negatives. So no, nothing. <laughs> it washes over you, and you feel yes, fine. I love when he rolls four ones. It's the worst. It's you know, never. the probability of that happening is really low. <laughs> I get that every time, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so that's there on this round. So next round, you keep running? Well, where am I in a... Uh, Wait, I get around. Yeah, everybody's they're got not, to They're clear. not to you yet. They're not even to me? I said they'll be to you next round. Oh, did he pass me? Uh, he'll be at the door okay. trying it. Well, I won't burst the door out while he's there. Okay. <laughs> Trying the door, I can't open. I go past it then, and I'm going to go join this guy. I'm not going to alert them to where these guys are at. Okay, so you're heading towards the stairwell? Yep. Okay. Um, they go before you, so they're going to take three more shots, and then you can open the door on them. How many times do you want to dodge? I want to dodge twice. Okay. Shot number one. Goes one, one success. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I mean, these guys are pretty competent for humans. They have six dice. One, two, three, four. You dodge. Five. <laughs> you dodge. Okay. You Second dodge. shot. Six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, ten. ten. Nine. nine. <laughs> no problem. Second shot. You have five dice. One success. I got it. Okay. For sure. Third shot. For sure. Yeah. Third shot. One, two, three. Four. Three. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then one, two, one. Zero. Zero. Yes! You know, the probability of that happening is really low. Okay. So you <laughs> take the damage. <laughs> No oh, damage is over you, and you're fine. <laughs> okay, now you can open the door on them. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to try and hit one. You have blind fighting, right? Yes, I do. Cool. Smash one with the door. Okay. Can I do it to not kill him? It's a tough choice. How hard do you do it? Are you going to imply... I can pull my punches, no? How much mega strength will you apply to it? Well, one bash the door in. One mega strength. I mean, you'll roll your strength still. If you get over five successes, if you get six or seven, then you risk tearing the door off the wall. Let's give it two mega strength, and hopefully the blow of the mega strength will just knock him unconscious. It's all bashing, right? Yeah. We're going to go that, with That's that. a proper math. It works out. It okay. checks out. Yeah. Roll your strength. <laughs> <laughs> Is it strength and might? To strength and brawl to hit the door, hit him with the door. Watch me miss. That'd be great. Watch me miss the door. It's you right open in it front for of me. Like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Three. Okay, so how much strength do you have? Four. So roll six dice and add ten successes to it. So twelve. Fuck. All right. I feel like that was pretty good. I feel like that was pretty conservative, too. So you open the door super fast. It comes off the wall and strikes one of the dudes, throws him into the wall across from you. He hits it, and sauce shoots out from his body. All right. I felt like it was conservative. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be gentle. Yeah, the other guy's like, Well, I thought Holy maybe the shit. door would take some of that mega strength force away from the damage, you know, to get it off the hinges. Okay. You, you saw this up close. Game one with a car. I'm just trying <laughs> to think physics. Okay, so you destroy one of them. And the guy's like, holy fuck! Just, <laughs> He's like, wow. we got two! We got two in the building! We got two! I see another one! I really want to abort my axe and just slap him. <laughs> you could have divided your dice. That would have been right. You could have awesome doored one and slapped the other one. Well, I'll use the Make rest of my slap. movement to uh, continue on my plan. Okay, so you just slap one on the ceiling and just destroy. Run yourself all the lights. the lights. No more lights for them. anyone. No one gets to see. How much distance can you cover in one round? Uh, 164 feet per action. Okay, so 
You can go almost three hallways. <laughs> <laughs> I can just flood them in darkness, back and forth. So you just go, but, 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 just <laughs> the whole. So you're gonna go. There's four hallways. Oh my god, it's another square. Yeah, I thought it was just it's one all, long hallway. No, it's all a square, and you can go almost three whole ones. I'll get back to where they were. And back up to where this guy is and help him Okay, escape. so you're so, going to go to the doorway and back to yeah. where he is. One and a half doorways. Okay. Or right. walkways. So Flap and lift, a half. Lift. So as you're coming around and you're um, coming to the doorway to the bunker, do you peek in? Where all the students were being ushered into? Yeah. Nah. Okay, good call. So <laughs> it's not that it's dark. dangerous. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's what I do. So it's dark in there. The last guy is still there with his gun out. I don't see him, but I can sense him. You see him with blind fighting. Yeah, you know he's there. I take his gun. On the next action, you can try to okay. take his gun. All right. Okay, G, you're in the vents. You're swarming through the vents, and up ahead, there's like. A vent exchange, and there's a blower fan. It stopped, so you can mm -hmm. get past it pretty easily. Pour through. Yep, and there's a branch to the right, to the left, down, and up. It looks like a four-way. You can go straight across. You can go left, right, up, or down. Down. Okay. You pour down. Do you attempt to slow your descent, or you just pour through? Um, through the, through the fan. So you go through a blower fan before you get to the exchange mm -hmm. and then you can just go down, but it's like a straight down shot to so you just pour yourself in or do you try to slow down on the way down? Oh, uh, before the inevitable impact at the bottom, I intend to slow down. Yes. Okay. Well, there's not an inevitable impact. You pour yourself down and start slowing down where you think you're going to hit the next floor down, mm -hmm. and it keeps going down, and down and down. But you can stop one floor below you. There are more sub-basements mm -hmm. than one and two. Yeah. I am going to, yeah, once it becomes clear that I'm not going to have another turnoff, it doesn't look like there's going to be a turnoff at this level. There is it, too. There is a sub-basement, too. Yep, there is another exchange that goes in all directions. But what I'm saying is, if you were just to go straight down until you hit the bottom, you would go very far. Oh, no. no As you no, look I'm down, just... there's a lot more down. No. It's dark in that here. That is good to know. You do, do you have any perception? Yeah, a little bit. Mega? No. Okay, so you have to feel your way. Okay. Yeah, so we get to that next spot. Um, you know, a handful. I'm going to keep going. Down? I'm curious. Okay. But... Everyone else is going to... So if you want to eat something now, at this point, you only do three instead of four a turn. Uh, well, I do five a turn now. Oh, so you do four instead of five. Because mm -hmm. a chunk of you just went away. Yep. So, I'll, yeah, I'll be at reduced one. But um, now I will... Um, so there's a full exchange in all directions from here. Try to remember. So I went in this here... Down. You feel like you're in left. the middle of the building. In, so in the like where the under the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's not where I was picturing. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna come out to. I'm gonna come out to the left. The left, which should is be the west corner, the west wall. Yep. Okay, so you pour in that direction, and you come to a room. You can see light coming in from the vent. Stop and look. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, there's a bunch of people moving around. You see three massive glass tubes along one of the walls. Uh, the emergency lights are on, but they're not blinking here. They're just steady. And the bank of computers that they're at are still on. And in the three glass tubes that are rising up from the bank of computers, there are people. One, two, three. 
<laughs> so if that's there, um, and there's about so how many people are in there? Three. No, in in the room. Three people in the room. So there's three people and three tube Tubes. people. Yep. So if you're looking at like what the building looks like, it's a square. You came down kind of right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. You're coming out on a room right here. Uh, and then we'll just say this is the hallway, right? Yep. And there's more rooms off to the sides, but this is where that room is. Three tubes of people, uh, computer stuff, and then other people running around the room. And you're here at this vent. Okay. Um I'm going to head back to the exchange and go to the south instead. I'm going to do some investigating. Okay, so you I... head back and go this way? Yep. All right. So there's another room in here. This one's longer <laughs> and not quite as wide. And it looks like there's beds. Occupied? Occupied. IVs hooked up to them. They're sleeping. Everyone's asleep in that room? Everyone's asleep in that room. I go into that room. Okay. You pour through. He's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I pass over. The... Are you serious? <laughs> no. Okay. I was going to say, all right. <laughs> uh, you do. Um, yeah. They're all, they're all young children. Some of them have obvious physical deformities. One of them has huge ram horns growing out of his head. Uh, a small girl. All, her skin looks to be made of like leaves all cobbled together. Uh, one of them looks to be mostly insect. You can't tell its gender. It's got a bunch of extra limbs. They're all young looking. There's a door into the hallway. Yep. Um, this is the southwest corner. Where we should have gone. Which is where we're getting to. At least we. The royal we. Yeah, the royal we. There's a lot of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, is there any other ventilation in this room aside from that central uh, piece that we are looking at? Uh, yeah, there's an air return down here. Yep. There are air returns in every room. I go through that into the next room over. Uh, next room over is air return is back here. But this room right here? Mm -hmm. That's when you're coming into. Okay. Uh, you peek through the air return, or some pieces of you do. You're going to have to roll a stealth for me. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. That was complicated. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's weapons locker along this wall. Uh, and then there's like some tables in the middle of the room. People are getting equipment on, putting on body armor and, you know, they've got clear shields and they're getting a hold of these huge weird looking rifles from this wall. People are coming out and going in. There's a door on this side and a door on this side. And you know what to do. Coming in and going out as they're arming up. Um... And so there's tables. So those are... Those four things are tables. Those four things are tables. Is there anything else to be stood behind? Uh, I mean, on the wall where the air exchange is, no. But it comes out right in front of the lockers over here. People are opening and closing the lockers and pulling things out of them. When they close them, they lock with a biometric signal. Doo -doo. The power is on down here. You see it appears to be in a reduced capacity, but there is power going to stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, it's always a theater of the mind is hard because we're imagining two different things, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But when one, somebody opens the locker, which would obscure their view of the vent, I want to come up, reform, and have my Ufaburr be generally looking like a security guard also from their crew and I'm going to just walk like I know what I'm doing and walk out of the room. That's the goal. I am Cypher 5. You have Cypher 5, which will be helpful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Give me a manipulation and subterfuge roll. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that or stealth and dexterity. Take your pick. Uh, yeah, and I'm spending some. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Just three plus uh, my willpower success for four. Okay. So the guy closes the door. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't see you there. And then he, like, looks away and goes to do whatever he's doing. You just kind of, like, you keep the hat down over your face so they don't see you super well and sort of look away so they don't even get a really good look at you. Yep. Which door do you exit out of? Just this one or that one? Um, south. Okay. You walk out the south door. Mm-hmm. And in this corner of the room, in this corner of the hallway, it seems like there's what looks very much like one of the bulkhead doors that was um, on the oil derrick. It looks very similar to that. It's like rounded. It's got a big handle. It seems super robust. Mm-hmm. And there's a card reader. Of course there is. Um, are there other doors adjacent either side? Uh, not until about here. Or here to get halfway down the hallway, and then it'd be any. And then there are doors like further every ten feet or so. Okay, and ventilation. Uh, in the hallway, there's ventilation in the ceiling, and uh, there is some. There's like a return over here. And what's the? How crowded is this? Uh, there are people coming and going in the hallway. If you dissolve into a pile of bugs, your cipher will probably not cover for you. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. You know that you have enough experience with cipher to know that it's kind of a tenuous thing that basically part of it revolves around you doing expected things. And the mm-hmm. more you deviate from the expected path, the more like apparent you become to people. Yep. And there's not the catch all. No, it's not mm. magic. Well, it kind of is, but it's sort of magic-y. Right. Sciencey magic. At least that's how they describe it in game terms. Man. And these guys are tangled up in some nonsense. You left us. Not that you know, but sure. Well, the plan is going to Again, walk like I know what I'm doing. Just kind of rely on the cipher and make uh, a loop around the, the hallway. All looking the for staircases that would go up. Okay. You're starting at the end of the maze and trying to work your way back? Yeah. At this corner and this corner, it looks like there's elevators. Elevators? There's key cards. Okay. I mean, you mm. see, like, other doorways, right? But unless you go into them, you don't know what's in there. Don't know what they are. Over here, it looks marked. Like, over here, it looks like there's another room that people are coming in and going out of and arming themselves. One of them, as they pass you, they say, hey, man, you should grab some gear. We got to go. But that's all that he gives you. Although it kind of lets you know that, like, you're you're more noticeable than you want to be. Mm-hmm. Because I would like some gear. Um, from when I was in the other room, did it seem like there were individual lockers? Or is this on them. Okay. Um, so I am I'm looking also for an opportunity to have a single, have somebody singled out, somebody that gets separated from the herd. Turn the corner and you're the only one in the hallway kind of thing. You yeah. want to the bathroom? Some somebody going to the bathroom, somebody going to um, that stops because they drop their pen and is behind. There's a bathroom. Compatriots. Okay. Hmm. I go. Get, you see one of the guys go to the bathroom. I go, I go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. He's like, hey, man, it so, says one at a time as you follow him in. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> okay. There can be only one. Yeah, exactly. He's like, yo. Wait, do I know you? What are you doing here? He's reaching for the radio. Um, 
I moved through them. <laughs> oh, my God. You've eaten the hard drive before. I mean, ra- what's a radio, right? Exactly. He, but he didn't, like, gear up for a round to do aggravated. Yep. So you just pour over him? Yep. Okay. So I just go through him like a, a wave. Okay. He won't <sighs> die right away. It'll take two passes. <laughs> Poor buddy. <laughs> so pass number one. Uh, you guys upstairs... There's the guy in the hallway, and there's the dude smushing the wall. You just hear come over the radio. Ah! <laughs> that could be anything. <laughs> that's what you want to say as your last words? Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's it's, what he says. It's, it's really not what he wanted. It's to not say. what he's expecting. <laughs> I don't think want had a lot to do with that. He was about to stand up to a bully who was intimidating him in the bathroom, and then all I mean, of a sudden, you there followed him in the bathroom. I'd probably yeah. say something too. Like, get the fuck out of here! Right? I assumed you know, it was man. like a group bathroom <laughs> or like a, a uh, bigger one, so multi stall. Yeah, maybe that's where it's time. What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> maybe I had the urinal and then the stall, but really, it's still one at a time. Mm, it's one of those. Meanwhile, you're hiding behind that clump of ground. Um, Sluice keeps freezing people that are trying to come around. They are attempting to shoot through it. You hear one of them say, go and get some explosives. Okay. My plan was after I got behind cover, I'm blind chucking rocks. Okay. Hard. Trying not to hit them, but I'm trying to make them have to dodge. Hard. Cover fire. Yeah. What kind of rocks? Some of them are dying. Boulders or rocks? It doesn't matter. He's launching them with Mega Strength 5. They're basically bullets. Large bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit them. Baseball yeah, bullets. I was saying I was trying to purposely if, not hit them. But trying to make them dodge, though. Like, yeah. Can you lob them? You have to Just get close. Like, there will be some mistakes. Yeah. Some of them will die. Yeah, I'm trying to minimize the casualties. And I figured with my dexterity, mm-hmm. I don't have to try that hard to miss them. <laughs> sure, but I mean, sometimes you just don't put it where you aim it. And occasionally yeah. they'll dodge into it or get hit. So it's, you're not, like, slaughtering all of them, but some of them are dying. It's all right. We've all if you clip there. one, it <laughs> Wait, blows off his arm, there yet. you know? Mm-hmm. So, you know. Everyone else has at least one tally on Arms are not death. If their arm is gone, then their life pours out of their side relatively quickly. Hopefully there's medics, medic. right? Yeah, there's <laughs> medics on site. <laughs> okay. So, but, yeah, occasionally you... Maim them. Yeah, wound Fatally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If if we go away for two or three deaths, I'm like that is a win. Okay. I mean, especially considering you could have killed every single person in the building. Exactly. All right. They are going to get explosives. Sluice looks at you and she's like, "Hey, pretty soon we're going to have to get out of here." Yep. Tell her it's only been a minute. <laughs> we got a long time to go. <laughs> I mean, it's been a couple minutes. Yeah. You guys are working around five minute mark. She's like, I don't think that we could stay here not kill them. For the full 15 minutes. Exactly. Maybe they can chase us. I mean, when it's time to go, Shade's just going to show up and get us out of here. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to actually let her know, hey, when it's time to go, you should go with Shade. You're not coming? Uh, Have Shade meet me. And I'll give her, like, a distance that I think I can cover. In a jump? Within a few jumps. Okay. I want them to chase me. I mean, that wasn't the plan, but okay. Plans change sometimes. Damn right they do. I'm also trying to follow my nature, which is martyr. So. Oh, nice. You'll get a little power back. Good job. So, yeah, that's what I tell her. And wait for them to leave, and then I'm going to take, yeah, two or three jumps and cover as much ground as I can. Okay. So, um, (coughs) she clicks over a new private line and tells him to show up. He gets there just as they launch a surface-to-air missile at the clump of rock you're behind, and he opens a portal and portals it into the back end of the building. Oh, we're turning this into a real terrorist attack. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) And then he motions you guys towards the portal. Yep, and I'll give him a quick rundown. Hey, meet me whatever distance that way, and I'll get ready to jump. Okay. And I hope he knows what I mean. Yeah, he nods. Okay. And then they pile through. You And yep. the portal closes behind him. And I don't get with him, and I jump. Okay. You're going to get shot a few times on the way out. Yep, I'm aware. Um... 
That's a one. Oh, do I dodge or no? Yeah, you can dodge. Okay, so I would do the normal two one. That's another one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> zero and zero. Okay, I don't dodge. Okay, so three of them are gonna hit you. Yep. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. So that's one, two, three, four quantum that first time. One, two, three quantum the second time. Well, it's a good thing I told you about that extra four, buddy. And then uh, two quantum the third time. Yep. Literally. I managed to get out. <laughs> Saved your life. How much do you have left? <laughs> two. You feel bad. Yeah. You feel like super weak and drained and like, think about if you did two all-nighters in a row. Mm-hmm. You feel fucking tired. Yep. But you make it away. They're going to chase you. They're going to mount up and go after you. Yeah, I figured they probably can't match my speed with five mega strengths. No. So I'm hoping that Shade shows up you're when... Like... You're gone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Matt. Ryan. What are you guys up to? Are we going to still go in the same initiative order? We are. So, Matt, well, I can declare first, and I've already kind of declared. I want that gun. You're going to try and take his gun. I'm okay. going to disarm him and leave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the guard is going to run. Good call. Which one? The one I was going to take his gun at? Yep. Fuck, man. He's trying to get the fuck out. <laughs> I guess I'm fast enough. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I'll uh, take the other guard and disarm him. But it's in the dark, isn't it? Yeah, it's blind. I'm sorry. I got you out of here, at least. I get you out, man. Okay, so... Keep your backup characters. What are you up to? <laughs> what backup characters? So you realize we're blind. <laughs> yeah, you're blind. What are you doing? I'm going to try to... Fuck it, I'm running away. Good call. Where do you run? Up the stairs. Okay, so you're heading for the stairwell. Okay. We're gone. <laughs> All right. So you make to the stairwell. You open the door. The lights are on. No one's in the stairwell. You just run upstairs? Yep. Okay. You're on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the guard takes off running back the way he came from the bunker. How far does he make it? I don't know how far someone with a dexterity of three can make it. That's not very far. Yeah. Nope. He, if he's sprinting, it's like 26. Okay. He's sprinting. He makes it 26. Meters? That's pretty far. He's calling ass. He looks totally panicked, or yeah. he seems, because he's running for his life. Him. Yeah, he's running like he's got a hand on the wall and he's going for it. I run 60 meters normally. You catch him. But can I run, grab the gun, and get out? Yeah, run means you get back. My Sprint is you. What's run for you? Run. 72 meters. Yeah, you can run and grab the gun and do something else. So I want to just grab the gun and then go to the stairwell. <laughs> okay. Run and grab the gun. That's what I do. Just make a roll, like a martial arts and dexterity roll. Yep. I actually found the rules for this. Which cool. Is, they're kind of cool. It's a difficulty of nine. So I'm going to reduce it to seven. Yep. And remove my mega dex. Yep. And then I need more successes than a strength score. That's not hard. Um, I have to exceed it. So I get eight dice. And he doesn't roll anything. He has a strength of three. Eight dice to get four successes for Ryan? One, <laughs> hard. two. Well, one, <laughs> two with the re-roll. Come on, re-roll. Come on, it. you can do it. Oh, no, I didn't. Run. <laughs> okay, so you go to grab the gun. He hangs on to it and runs. <sighs> ah, fine, keep your gun. All right, you go back into the stairwell? Yeah. Okay, you do. He just shot him in the back of the head. <laughs> Keep him going. <laughs> okay, so he runs finger. in the stairwell behind him. I give him the finger. <laughs> the stairwell door slams open and he comes blitzing in. You don't think three would have taken it when he's blind? Yeah, you said you didn't roll. He had three strength. I don't know. That makes me sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get into the stairwell. Well, we go to the southwest corner of the building. Mm-hmm. Oh. You go upstairs. There's no downstairs. 
No, we got to get to the southwest corner of the building. So you don't keep go up the stairs then. Okay, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Does this whole corridor sub-level follow the top level? Yep, it's a square. Oh, well, fuck me, man. I thought this was just like a different sub-level. They're all squares. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Come on. What are you doing? Don't go up the stairs. Southwest corner. No. Mm, fine. Okay. You guys go back into the into the hallway. It's black. You're moving towards the southwest corner. This way. This way. Follow me. You want a lift? Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a lift. Zip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. You guys make it to the southwest corner. Yeah, we do. Give me one second. I gotta take a list. We go to my chair. It's not working. Think out about what I'm I seeing in would. the basement three. You see <laughs> dead bodies everywhere. There's just maimed and mutilated children. Yeah. I don't know if you guys would have gotten the power out if I wasn't part of the distraction. He would have probably winged it. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know what we're doing now. <laughs> we have no clue where we're going. No, what I'm about to, I'm about to come back and try to find you. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to because we're just like, yeah, but you're not in the room anymore. <laughs> no, you can follow the trail of carnage. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can't. It's dark as hell. Yeah, I don't blame anything. Yeah, I was very confused at the sub basement. And you just went What's back your... upstairs. Or are you still down here? Oh, I'm at sub basement two. Oh, you are sub basement two. And part of me is at sub basement three. <laughs> so I'm way nice. I'm way way. So down. you're you're in two places. So I'm mostly nice. at sub basement two. Yep. Okay. What do you want the other you to be doing? Um, you split probably five fucking ways. There's only four. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've been there. How does it feel? Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm off trying to make significant discoveries. I have so my I'm, rose. I'm, <laughs> peak, peak, peak. <laughs> so get a little power. Yes. Oh, I should take my willpower. Too. Bam. I'm hoping yeah, to figure out what else we got down here. Okay, so how far down? Do you just drop all the way to the bottom? Do you stop every floor? Uh, well, I was going to do it floor by floor and, until I didn't have a reason to do that anymore. Okay, so basement three? Yeah. Much, it looks similar to what you see going on here. If you're just peeking out vents, mm -hmm. you'll see similar things. Okay. So these are medical... Patient slash experiment slash whatever. Slash they, whatever. They are not physically restrained so far that I've seen. Uh, well, I mean, they're they're not just standard prisoners. Like behind bars, that kind of thing. No, they're not behind bars. Most of them are in the glass tubes, if anything. Or chemically restrained in the bed. Mm -hmm. Or like they are definitely kept from leaving. But without, I mean, so to my knowledge, I can tell that they are not just, you know, on life support kind of things. These are. Do you have any medicine? Uh, two dots. Yeah, you can tell. They're not on life support. This Whatever's is... in those bags or whatever in those are hooked up to them in those tubes via other tubes into their body are keeping them sedated. Mm, okay. Being kept sedated on purpose. Well, the, in those rooms, especially the ones without staff, I pinch off all those tubes. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> in which rooms? In the bedrooms? In the in the bedrooms. Yeah. Okay. Which sub basement are you doing this? This one three. is three. three. Yeah. Okay. So those those ones, those kids are going to be waking up eventually. They're not all of them are kids. Some of them are adults. And so that's good. Movie. It's gonna be mass hysteria in this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so you chew through the lines. Yep. Just, just that's what that you was busy doing. Mm -hmm. And this you. And I'm gonna be doing that uh, a couple times. Uh, this me is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got. Uh, you eat bathroom, the bathroom. Bob. You ate um, him. 
Well, right. That's what you were doing. Uh, <laughs> I got his ID appearance card. and armor, and most importantly, ID card. I mean, there's mess on everything because he didn't die in one round, so his clothes are just. No, I copy with the Ufaber, and I wipe his ID card clean. <laughs> okay. And you can't look like him. You look like no, you. No, I look like me. Yep. I just have his card. I just have his card, and, and, his I, and I'm wearing the same gear that everyone else is wearing. Or you can make like. your Ufaber appear to be that gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting any benefit from it. I close the bathroom door, and I walk, and I get back over to the southwest corner. Green light comes on. Okay, it's like there's definitely a pressure difference as you open the door uh, and you step into something that looks like, you know, um, if you have like a a pressure exchange chamber between two places or an airlock in a spaceship, that's what it looks like. Okay. So there's another door is what you're saying. There's another door. The light in the room is red. Do you close the hallway door? I take a quick scan. What are you looking for? Um, there is no apparent uh, smaller exits. No, this room is sealed. Fuck it, YOLO. Yeah, I close the door. Fuck it, YOLO. <laughs> you close the door? Yep. Uh, everything seals. You can feel it. Your ears pop. Um, and then... There's when a- that happens, mm-hmm. where is that air pressure coming from? When it happens, mm-hmm. there are two... Uh, there's two, like, air vents on either side okay. of that room that feel like they suck air out. Gotcha. <coughs> you can actually hear motors kick on them. Perfect. And then... How big are those vents, by the way? Is it like, you know, tiny little openings, or is it like... No, it's like that big, it's, but yeah, there's okay. like... Small. You know, bars are small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I attempt to swipe for the interior door. Well, when everything equalizes, there's a green light that comes on over the interior door, and it unlocks and opens up. Nice. Okay. You step into the room, and what you see is this room looks like a strange square off of that weird bias corner. And uh, from either end of these two corners, from the ceilings, there's these huge structures that come down and attach to the arms from either side of a little girl being suspended in the middle of the room. And from either side on the floor, there's these two massive structures that come up and attach to her legs. And she's spread in the middle of the room like an X. Above her, there's a huge, like, it looks like a lens almost coming out of the ceiling. And there's one underneath. And there's an arc of energy that goes through her body from the ceiling to the floor. And she's unconscious. And she looks to be all of six years old. Is it weird to say I feel like I've seen this before? (laughs) <laughs> it's like I mean, so it's been? Tuesday <laughs> jeez <laughs> alright nobody else is in this room no there are people in the room there are people in this room behind her at this corner there's a bank of computers and at that bank are two technicians one of them turns around and says what are you doing in here right. change of plan the invaders have made it to this level we need to go Nation subterfuge They better hope this worked for him. Yeah, yeah. This, this is it is in your best interest <laughs> to believe me. Man, I should have rolled that willpower. All right. <laughs> so you fail? So, yeah. Just no successes. No well, botches, but no successes. One of them was like, uh, yeah, sure, that's a good idea. Let me just lock things down really quick. And he starts turning around towards the console. Sorry. The other guy's like, what? John, what are you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> You guys are familiar with the term murder hornets? Yet? Oh, no. <laughs> so it'll take you four rounds to kill them both. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Round one. Yeah. Maybe? Do they... They don't appear to be guarded or anything. And... 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get them both at the same time. So it'll take you four rounds to kill each of them. Yep. Okay. I'm going to split. All right. So more. And hopefully they are less inclined to perform whatever actions they are going to perform. I'll make, I'll make a little power roll to act. Yep. Okay. So you're eating those guys. <laughs> that was you're lovely. out. Mm-hmm. You guys are in the southwest corner of the building. He's gone. I'll keep going for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so round <laughs> one. It's technician number one. Screams and flails. Technician That's number two. Right. Oh, he passes out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make the job easier. He's like, ah! he turns to run away from you and slams his head into one of the cabinets. Now the question and goes is, over. will he stop eating him after he passes out? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Round two. Yes, I move. To I move. I one. move to take it to number one uh, to, to double my chances and speed there. You said you should have passed out too, <laughs> and he does. Oh. He just goes down his knees and is like, ah, and loses consciousness as you're eating his flesh. Dude. I let another round pass. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> you kill both? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. You don't stop? Well, I do stop now. <laughs> yeah, he, stops. he stops when there's only bones left. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. You know what it kind of reminds me of is um, Mysteries. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Mysteries. Mysteries from Mistborn. Uh, just oozing all the around. oozy pre-chondra. I mean, I know you're not oozing. I know you're hoarding, you're, but it looks like an ooze. In you're my just throwing bags all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. That's okay. Um, it's gone now. Yep. <laughs> then I am going to take a look at the the controls. Look for the big red "Do not touch this button" button. What do you have for intrusion? I have intelligence of three and intrusion of three. Roll it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should have kept one of them alive. Oh, also, how many rounds have you been in here? Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so every round that you're in here, you're going to lose two quantum. Oh, no. There's, it looks like almost like blue luminescent smoke being sucked out of your body and into the weird arc of energy in the middle of the room, no matter where you're at. So you lose two quantum around. Okay, um, I'm going to see what this does first. One, two, three, four. Four, okay. You can crack the um, entrance code to the computer so you can get into the system. And you can shut it down if you want to. I do. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Just the arc stop? The arc stops. And okay. instead of being suspended between the two point, the two lenses that the arc is being generated from and being held with all of her muscles livid, she slumps down into the restraints. Um, and I am going to... She has a white bodysuit on and her hair is sh- short, like buzz cut short. So I'm going to go through the leg restraints first. And I'm going to take out one of the arm restraints. You're going to eat them? Unless I see some keys or if they just... I mean, if you stay in the system, you might be able to unlock them. But if you eat them, you're going to have to do aggregated damage. Oh. So you're going to have to spend mm. a little power to do it. Yeah. Or you can roll your intrusion again. I'm already in the intru- in the system. Let's see if I can just find the decouple. Find the thing. Find the decouple. I'm sorry, I was using these willpower. One, two, one, one. No, one. Zero. Zero. Oh. So you're, you're working on it, but the system's unfamiliar to you and the user interface is not friendly. So you Wait don't find it one, right away. One, two, one. Right? So yeah, it is one. It's okay. my success. So yes, you figure it out. Okay. I was like, I was sure there was another one in there, but every time I looked at it, it was just gone. Yeah, the eight does on a white dice and it makes it hard to read. I didn't even notice it at the first glance. Okay, here, here. Switch that over. I'm have another to oddity Shit, is that man. her hair, while buzzed yeah. short, is white. Good. Mm. So she's wearing a white suit and white... Buzzed hair. We'll see. Six year old girl. Okay. Yep. So she becomes unlocked. She becomes unlocked. Okay. And falls to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do the goddamn hero carry. 
Because I'm the boss. In the hallway? Um, I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can wake her up. You broke it, man. Broke what? It. Okay, so you're trying to wake her up. What are your medicine? Fine. You got to get back up. Get out of here. Traitor died. Tra rolling ones. One, two. Two. You do. You bring her around. She looks up at you with eyes that are just totally white. And she goes, where are we? We're in trouble. But I'm going to get you out of here. She can't stand up without help. That's right. Um, now, this room... I'm going to grab the two badges. She's going to take one, and I'm going to take one. As you pick her up and she touches you, you feel this weird kind of deja vu sort of experience. And she looks at you and she says, I'm so sorry for what happened. Oh, no. Oh boy. Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> yeah, that was such a sad day. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to give her a badge. I'm going to take a badge. And she says, I'm sure he doesn't hold it against you. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> We, 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 we need to buy some time until they get everyone else gets back upstairs. Um, which reminds me, I want to call the rest of me back up to me. Okay, the rest of you is like on our way. He's done enough damage. Hopefully, that there's things waking up on every other floor now. Uh, not on every other floor. Well, on three and four. On other, on other floors now. <laughs> yeah. The further down you go, the less human the people look and the more, the older they are. Mm. I just imagine little yous like trying to climb through the vents, <laughs> trying to pass <laughs> all the obstacles, <laughs> mm -hmm. looking up. How am I going to make that jump? <laughs> <laughs> we lower ourselves down like a barrel of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of you grabs on, and then the rest of you guys let go, and then... <clears throat> It's kind of an awesome power. <laughs> it's really fun in a lot of ways. Um, the fact that you can talk to them is much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at, when the other ones come back up to this floor, I want them to see if they can peek out and see when the general crowd has left to the, the more important floors to, to where these guys are making a ruckus next floor up. These guys are making a ruckus two floors up. We're about to meet, I think. We'll get back to you. Okay. Guys, Southwest corner. Southwest corner. You run there. We run there. Quickly. You're Quickly. carrying him. We're there. Pretty much. Yep. Um, what's there? We haven't been here yet, apparently. Southwest corner, it's just some rooms. But there needs to be a sub-level two. Southwest. <laughs> Scratching my head, I'm like, I don't know how we go from one level to the next. Elevators, elevators, no elevators. You don't see any elevators. Stairwells, stairwells. You didn't see any. I mean, you could go room by room, but they're all locked. That would take time. Oh. He's got the key card. No, I got the key. Card. He's got the key card. Yeah, he's got a secondary one. Well, just start so opening up these rooms. All right, I have one. She has one. He took one from, oh, the, from the dead people. There was yeah. the two people there. Yeah. Yep. I just run along and open all the rooms. I guess, yeah, technically I have two. You have three. Well, There's she one had, for each technician. Yeah. Yeah, so you have two and she has one. Yep. Okay. It'll probably start shedding a little light back into this hallway. Okay, so you're just keeping the doors open? I got the key card. I'll just swipe them all and open them all. <laughs> Free the prisoners. Okay. Uh, you start swiping it open the key card, all the doors, they look like dormitories, some of them are medical suites. Um, at some point, where you're just standing in this hallway then, southwest corner? Yeah. At some point, people are going to start coming around the corner here. You can hear them coming. I can hear them too. I hear them. I hear them. All the doors. <laughs> Anything? Uh, 
there's yeah, there's light, there's rooms. Uh, if you go to the southeast corner, one of the rooms that you open, one of the doors looks like a closet. Except that... Is there a hatch? Roll your perception. Mega perception one? You have mega perception. That's how much you roll it. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shut up, man. Really? You know, the chances of that happening <laughs> are very low. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So four. Four successes mm. from three botches. Okay, you step into the room really quickly to take a look at the it's closet. And A, none of the things in the closet have been moved any time in the recent past because there's dust all over it. And B, there's a space under the floor as you walk out into the floor. It's not solid. It's like doom, doom, doom. All right, so I go run back, grab him, and can you see now? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I'll still give you a lift. I am really fast. You are super fast. Really fast. I don't even know how fast. So you run back and grab him and do what? Because there are now people coming down the hallway. I think I can grab him and get back before they can even make five feet. I run 700 feet per action. One of them is floating through the air. And there is light coming off of their body in wisps. Well, I grab him and we go down through the floor. <laughs> okay, you go on the floor. All right. Slam. Cool. <laughs> this way. <laughs> There's... <laughs> It looks like an elevator shaft. I guess that's where we go. It goes down really far. You can climb, right? There's an access ladder on the side. Good luck. I just float down. How far do you float? To the next. We're on sub level one. Sub level two. Okay. There's a doorway. Peel it open. Take a peek. There are people in the hallway. Some of them level guns at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's some people in there. <laughs> but that's where we're supposed to go. There are people running down the hallway towards you. Things are getting lighter in the hallway. I climbed down. Uh, you're going to have to give me a... Oh, you don't have to, I guess. You have mega strength. You climb down. And it's a ladder. <laughs> Your fingers can make handholds in the wall if you have to. Okay. I climb down and I go, let's just take them. All right. Open the doors and I'll go in. You need any powers? I'm stacked, dude. Like, okay. Uh, intrusion isn't going to help you anymore. I take his mega speed. God damn it. I'm just going through this quantum. Yep. You are going through that corner. That was bad as I was soon. <laughs> Yeah, will be soon. Okay. So, where are you waiting, G? Are you waiting in this room? Three in the airlock? Speed. Yep. No, one. One? One. Mm. One mega speed. If you that want would depend. My the, too, though. No. At the computer station, is there, there well. any security monitors that show anything that's going on outside? No. No. Um, are there any weapons in here? No, they would have used them on you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, airlock. Okay. So you guys are in the airlock. You can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Not this me. Oh, that's right. There's another you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He hears a horrible rending noise and guards in this hallway are yelling about intruders. Hey, that's us. Hey. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Mm. Although it could be other things too, things you've released. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little nervous. So I get back to rejoin me. This you? You have to open the airlock for him. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, once I can see outside of the airlock, I know I'm out there. So I open it from the inside. Okay. So is you like a little you or is he a swarm of bugs? This is, as I guess the question is interesting. I had always assumed that I would have to pick or choose, but which would make it a swarm. Okay. So the swarm comes out of this room mm -hmm. and starts coming down this hallway. It's, well, it was busy chewing these wires too, these yep. lines. And it's coming down this hallway. 
And some, a soldier with a gun is like, holy shit. And that you dies. Oh, oh sad panda. Yeah. He screams, it hurts, it burns, it burns. <laughs> over here in the wing. And then he dies. I have a feeling you're going to hear that a lot in your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, that's normal. Uh, you can regenerate his mass by spending some quantum to heal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Um, yeah, I'll do some regen. About three's worth. That sounds fair. So I'm just guessing. Yeah. How many how many health levels do you have? That's not a question you want to answer. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, including incapacitated? Mm-hmm. Ten. Okay, so it only takes you two. Because it's one per health level, right? Uh, I haven't had to use it in combat yet, so I have no yes. idea. <laughs> I think so. So, yeah, just two. And mm. you regenerate the mass. Grow. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, not better. Instead of 5 4, you're now 5 8. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, man, bastard. Straight up killing me. Um, so I'm going to give it to the. I'm going to give it a couple beats to see if he moves away. And I'm going to set her down inside the door. Okay, so she has to like lean against the wall. Yeah. She's super weak. Like, stay out of sight. And then I'm going to open the door. Okay. What are you guys doing? You guys are going to the hallway to raise a ruckus? Okay, you go into the hallway. It's full of people. Well, it's going to be less full of people in a second. What do you do? It's just going to sprint, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You could. <laughs> I don't want to kill everyone. Roll initiative. Okay. It's you either kill everyone or kill almost everyone, and it's your fault. Now, have we opened the door yet, Matt? One. Oh, oh, yeah, these the guys are surprised open. by you. <laughs> so that's sad for them. That's good for us. <laughs> They're like, "What's happening?" One, two. One. So you can roll NG. Nice. I have a success. Okay. Are they botched? Yeah, they have none. Yeah, thank God. One, two, One, three. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> three. I got one, and I have two mega decks, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Six. There you go. Somebody's going crazy. How many do you have, Brian? Two. Matt, you're always so fucking fast. Dude, he keeps rolling. I got four in wits and five in decks and two super decks. It's awesome. So their plan is to open fire and just what kind of guns are they spray and pray the hallway. The kind of like weird. They look sort of like rifles, but they're real futuristic. There's like a strange cone in the front that's a bunch of concentric rings. That's not a rifle. It's kind like of a fucking ass. laser gun. Oh, I just smashed my thing. They have to hold it to their <laughs> to their shoulder, but it is, looks like, very much like a laser gun. What are you doing, man? And so that's what they're doing. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. I have to declare. Yep. I'm gonna clothesline all of them. <laughs> just down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> just chink. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. So. You can, you see these guys come out of this doorway over here. You can see them like peeling back. You see the doorway peel away. You don't know who it is, but you see this doorway peel back over the, around the corner mm-hmm. from where you're at. And you can hear the whine of a bunch of weapons powering up. There are some guys in this hallway. There's like four of them right here, but they're running in that direction. They don't seem to be looking in your way. This hallway is currently clear. Nice. When you um, say full of people, how many people is full of people? Eight. Okay. It's not like they're piling out of this yet. room back here at the back end. They're pouring out of this room. There's like eight of them in the hallway. Okay. <clears throat> I kill everyone. How do you do it? 
Why are you going to kill everyone? Do you have the... Well, you're going to kill everyone. I'm not going to kill everyone. You're running at blazing light. light speeds with your arm out. Yeah, I'm going to knock him unconscious. You took his speed, right? Yeah. And you're great. strong. What do you do? I'm just going to go take as many out as I can. How? Uh, with my fist. Super punch them all. Like, pow. Zap. You can only Zap. punch one guy at a time. Zap. You can run through them or you can punch them. I'm just going to run through him. Fuck it. I'm going to A-train this shit. He's not quite as fast as me. He can run 260 feet per action. That's enough to make this hallway happen. <laughs> <laughs> it won't sauce him. It's not like supersonic speed, but... But it's, God, they're going to be sore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He doesn't. If he runs, cars aren't supersonic speed. Person to person down the hallway and just keeps running when he hits one. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, but he's gonna kill them. Yeah, I wasn't planning to do that. He's faster than you. Not faster, but better yes. reaction time on this. So that wasn't the plan. So though. he's gonna run blood. <laughs> yeah, you watch the first one and just pop, 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 and you're like, yep. Sucks all over God the hallway. Damn it, not See, again. I'm just going to say this: dripping ichor. The, the walls longer are covered. it takes to get to my turn, the more I don't care about the safety. So of you, people. you just you saw just, everybody in the hallway. Yeah. There's blood dripping off the ceiling. The walls are coated with gore. There's like viscera on you that you're wiping off. You're you end up down here by this corner. Do you want to stop, or you just want to keep going around the corner? I'll stop. Okay. Yeah, no shit. All right. So you saw us everybody in that hallway. That's Sweet. great power. <laughs> Matt. Um, cool. You just Try made it. an ice skating rink in here. I can't even move without slipping. <laughs> okay. You just see blood spray back in this <laughs> direction. Just like a wave of blood. <laughs> what? All right. Well, uh... well, if you wanted one of those guns, now's the time. <laughs> You know, I'm hoping you guys remember to grab a bunch of those because yeah, I was gonna pick up. I'm gonna. You don't know who it is. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go toward you're along like, this other hallway. Oh, like, ah, nah, yeah. Okay. You're I'm like, gonna we're going this I'm way. gonna grab a uh, little Bo Peep. Yep. And I'm gonna carry her over to the elevator. Okay, so you're carrying her this way. Yep. You can make it probably about that far. Or so sure. Okay. Uh, Ryan, there are some people running up on you from this way. Yeah, I'll run with them. <laughs> okay. I am not going to kill them. <laughs> okay. God. I mean, they're going to get a chance. Since you're not specifically targeting, you're just running with your arms out, they're going to get a chance to dodge. That's fine. That's okay. fine. Is that he how it dodges. works? Nah, I'm just saying for now. He dodges. Nope. Uh, no. Okay, so you sauce two. No, 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 no. Take that back. I don't sauce two. I'm going to pull my punches. How much mega strength do you want to apply? One. To Only one? Okay, roll your strength. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> We're trying to scale back. <laughs> <laughs> two successes. So seven. Okay, so they're going to get. Incap. Okay, so they don't. You don't drop them, but you hurt them. They go straight to incap. No, they don't because they can soak bashing. Oh, well, they're one lethal. They can soak bashing, so they don't convert all the way to lethal. Oh, they soak bashing. Yeah. But how about kill that other guy? Because <laughs> you, you apply two more. mega strength. Yeah, two yeah. mega strength. And he's not necessarily dead right away, but he was super fucked up. It went over into lethal. And so he was like, bah. I didn't think about soak. Mm -hmm. How much can a baseline soak? I don't know. Depends on their Bash. armor. It is a good question. Anova should know this. <laughs> I don't know. You think if I applied two, they would have died? Maybe. 12 damage bashing? Uh, they'd, they'd be fucked up. They'd be out. All right. Well, either way, running through them clothesline, I'm going to make my rounds. You go all the way around? Well, if I have to. You don't have to. You go through them. By the time you get here, there's no more of them. Oh, we'll keep going. Okay. You see Brian and the girl making their way over to here. Aboard action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're like, oh, arms in. Yep, we're, yep, we gotta go. Okay. We'll wait till, wait till Brian gets back. He ran the other way. Zip. I go follow him. 
You go back down the ho- gore hallway, or do you go this way? I'll just go that way. Okay. So we'll go in order. Are there are no guards. Or? Ryan, what are you doing? So you guys are going to meet up. He runs around the hallway until he meets you. And Matt runs this way and comes around the corner. And he looks like... Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> just like covered in smew. We'll talk about that later. There's like intestines on his shoulder. Maybe you shouldn't take that power anymore. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't take that power. He's just like covered in stuff. Uh, I don't even know what to say to him. Yeah, I kind of pretend it doesn't happen. Yeah. That's you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> just I mean, like, you don't uh, look much better, do you? Yeah, he looks fine. Yeah, I look. He doesn't have gore all over Zufaber? Mm-mm. Because he disintegrates into the guys when yeah. he eats them. Yeah, any of the. He eats him again. Any of the. Any of the gory He's ones are on messy. the inside. Yeah, right. I, I yeah. rotate the clean ones out. <laughs> Why are you never hungry? <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? yeah. <laughs> why do you have to eat so much? <laughs> I was a hold up girl. Boat snack. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll stop in front of Free combat. Unstoppable <laughs> asset. Here's our charge. All right, extraction then. I think the hard part's about to hard getting out to start. One more time. Hard part. It's about to start. Yeah. Where are we? We are in the basement of some Yo, crazy Spinster, compound. Maybe we should chill. And put on the brakes a little. I she goes. When is it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I don't like uh, it. August I'm not good. Four days. What's up? I say the date. Okay. I think it, whatever. Including the year. Okay. Because I get the feeling. That that matters to her. Yeah. She's like, oh. It's like October 20th. It hasn't happened yet. That's good. Hmm. Nope. A lot of things haven't happened yet. Do you... Uh, Talk later. Leave now. Come on, guys. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Can you guys um, pull pull the attention away? Uh Uh-huh. Don't you hear them running? (laughs) No, when we get when we get up to the away. next <laughs> when we get up to the next floor, that's where everybody no, else there. is. Oh, they're definitely up there. You think you guys, they're probably on their way down. You guys think you can keep them occupied while we get the heck out of here? Well, where are we gonna go? I look at her. Well, we gotta get out of this building. How much attunement do you have, Matt? Three. Not enough. Bummer. Can't take both of them with us. Well, you could take some of Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't want to leave him here to these fades. Well, the rest of me has something else to do. Um. I got plenty to do. Well, we can get out. It's good. I could take her. Okay. Good luck, little one. And Where are you I, going? I think, I'm going to see if I can get anybody else out of here, too. And I break off my hand and I Do you give say it need to a her. Hand? <laughs> and I give it to her. <laughs> She's like, Good you, luck. You leave it a hand, you don't make it into something? No, I mean, that's what the homunculus power is. Pink. Though, I mean, you can make them little people and stuff. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it, turns into, it turns into. Uh, yeah, I sculpted it into a unstoppable teddy bear. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a teddy bear that sort of looks like me. Oh my god, that's the most disgusting <laughs> flesh bear I've ever seen. It's one of those like ugly things, the ugly stuff ones that yeah. have real human teeth. The, 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 it's got no fur. <laughs> yeah, it's just like naked and naked and weird. It's like a naked mole rat. Oh my god. Yeah. That's traumatizing. Yeah, I take that. I'll put it in my pocket. I make it smile. <laughs> that has to go with him, by the way, just so you know. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm covered in blood and I'm holding this fucking bear. <laughs> His eyes are a little wide with she horror. Says, what he Will I see you later? Oh, yeah. Before? Just uh, You'll stay see close him now. to that. I point towards the hand. I just got something else to do, too. And then. Hey. <laughs> Get the and cameras while you're out. And I'm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Go and take out miscellaneous electronics, and I'm gonna 
start working on seeing how many prisoners, etc. I can wake up and deliberate before they slowly stomp the rest of me out of existence. Okay. What are you guys doing? Extraction. Yeah, we're going to the extraction. Okay, so you're going to Hey, hyper word of speed. advice, don't run through people. What the fuck, man? I am Groot. Yeah. <laughs> Same for your hands. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it right now. We can talk about it later. All right, so I'll... Uh, Phil, what's your name? I look down at the little girl. Oh, what's your name? Avelia. Huh? Avelia. Avelia. You talk so grown up. You mind if I uh, give you a lift and take you out of here? No, Maybe? that's fine. All right. I pick her up and... Okay, so where do you fly or run? The elevators? It's got to be Through the elevator, elevator that you've right? already made a hole in or the other one? I'm going to go with not the place they're all packed in waiting for me to come back out of. They're okay. trying to chase me at. So you go to the other corner? Yeah. Okay. The other corner opens up. Here's the door to the bunker. Mm-hmm. So it comes out right by the door to the bunker. But you can. What's the door to the bunker? Is it open? Is it closed? Uh, it's closed now. The elevator doors are closed. I swipe cards on both, just in case. I, I want to know what's on both sides. Of what? Bunker doors. Open them. You're going to open the bunker doors? Yeah, what? That's where all the people were packed Oh, in. that's where all the students went. No, fuck that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm like, you wanted to do I this? thought they were up one level. Yeah, well, you're going to go through the elevator here. Okay, elevators it is. And then you go up and come out, and that's what you're at. Gotcha. We want to go all the way up, if we can. You can't. You can go to sub basement one, and actually, what happens is the floor to this, uh, like maintenance closet, opens up, and the elevator rises up into the closet and spits you out, and then goes back down, and the floor seals up behind it. Okay, I'll wait for my uh, cohort. I mean, they go with you, right? They yeah, go with yeah, them. yeah. I try not to lose him in the wind, though. Sure. And music time. Got a plan for when these doors open? <laughs> Not gonna run through people, right? Dude, look at yourself. You want a mirror? Look at these doors. I don't want to talk about it right now. Just let's just do this shit. Yeah. What so happens don't happens. Don't do it so hastily. What happens happens. Ding. <laughs> the door is open. Anyone there? Mm. No. But the hallway is decidedly too light over here and getting lighter coming this way. And you have to go either this way or this way to get to the stairs. The stairs are like over here. Um, there or there. We can go this way. You go this way? Towards the light. Towards the light. Well, okay. He won't be able to see. He can see. It's light enough. Yeah, but he won't be able to see the other way. And let me tell you, you do not it's want true. to run to a wall full speed. It's also probably true. If he did, he might kill the Brian that he has on him, <laughs> which would be bad for Brian. <laughs> yeah, well, the rest of me is not planning on coming back. <laughs> he has right. attunement, so it's probably part of him. Yeah, but if he runs into the wall and does damage to himself, oh, he'd kill yeah. the homunculus. He'd kill the homunculus. That wouldn't be good. Nope. Brian, hey, come back! <laughs> <laughs> Split off another little piece of him. Oh man, it didn't work. Nope. Did you have I a guess... homunculus teddy? That's the grossest thing I've ever seen. It's hanging on to you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it, it acts and moves. That's right. Yeah, oh. it does its own thing. That's what <laughs> Brian wants to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Brian. I'm just there. Yeah, bolt through. I will change to a little cherubim. Do you Back know? to the stairwell. Okay. Weird naked little cherubim. Because why not? Okay, so as you're making for the stairwell, one of you guys might have a problem. Uh, evens. It's always evens. Okay. Nope. Thank it's God. It's you. Thank God. <laughs> I don't have power. Thank God it's the child that gets it. Yeah. Right? You're not holding the child. child. <laughs> you're not holding the child, are you? Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, he's, he's got the Mm hmm. She would probably die in my arms when we get to top speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I get for rooting to the universe. 
Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. I mean, not like you could have done anything with I it. think, what's no. my influence? I got three in influence. I'm trying to think what that does again. That lets people that's, uh, that's recognize like, you and know who you yeah. are. Yeah. That's oh, like yeah. fame, basically. So hopefully you didn't use that in this mission. Yeah. The guy that ran through people. <laughs> like, seen hey, that forge guy? <laughs> yeah. You know. Come on. Come on. Nope. Here we go. Nope. Okay. <sighs> Roll your willpower. Uh, this is the mm -hmm. time I wish I took more willpower. So your total or your remaining? Can I spend the willpower? Uh, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. What do I use it for? A success for three extra dice. Three extra dice. Okay. Mm. That's right. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, no. All right. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> My willpower. I got a success. You're good. Woo <laughs> So the person that's in the hallway, Flynn in the hallway, is like... Um, Casper? No, it's it's this dude flying down the hallway, and his clothes are kind of flowing around. He looks like he's underwater, and there's this nimbus of light around him, and he looks at you, and you can feel for a minute like there's like an ice cream headache in the front of your forehead, but then it passes. Excuse me, coming through. Okay, zip it, stairs, <laughs> bam. <laughs> he's not all the way down yet. <clears throat> so you go up the stairs, woof, woof. You guys are trying to get out? Yep, extraction point. Okay, you make it up the stairs. Uh, you can go all the way up to the second floor and out a window, or you can hit the first floor and try to go out the front door. Second floor window would be nice. There's no one on the second floor. Back through the same classroom, past the guy that I pinned to the wall. Bye. He's not there anymore. Okay, bye. Yep. <laughs> you guys go out the window? I do. I don't know where he goes. I go the same way. Okay. I fly. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> How many levels of damage do I take? <laughs> no, I'll crawl or climb down. I mean, you can jump. It's fine. It doesn't yeah. hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. Yeah. And when you, you know when you so. jump at going super speed, it's going to be like skipping a stone rather than yeah, you're okay. Hopping out can I go. quantum leap? Yeah, sure. Six kilometers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can. Although I would probably would lose myself, wouldn't I? Because it's not very precise. We don't know where you're going exactly. All right, I'll just fly. I don't want to risk it. Okay. You are, at this point, on sub-level four. Uh, the people down there are fairly inhuman. Most of them are in tubes. Do you wish to wake the subjects in the tubes? Mm. And do you split the U's off into a bunch of little U's, or do you stay one other big U? Um, I am still the swarm. Okay. Um... And really, the priority was the people in the beds. higher levels. Okay. Um. Yeah, the kids and whatnot. Okay. The when I'm down to sub level four. Um. Oh, well, I've already sprung the people in the beds. Right? I mean, you've I've cut off the setting, and the they're supply. starting to come around. Sure. But it's not fast. Sure. Um. Are there, uh, what's they, the staff they, up to at this point? They all have, the one thing you have noticed is that all of them have a bandage in the back of their neck. Mm. Um, interesting. And when I'm in the tube rooms, is there, is there still like an active staff and everything in these places? No, not really. No. Nope. We're running amok. Okay. Um, I'm going to go around behind the tube. Do they have incisions? Back there. Their neck? That's it. That seems problematic. That's all missions problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, At this point, you feel your other you pass out of communication range. Oh, okay. Hopefully, I got some of that. You got that to, much. To there. Okay. Um, Teddy, you knows that much. Pop, pop, pop. Press the. the a, open up big red buttons on these things. Okay. Two I, slides up and barks them out. And one of them, as soon as they hit the ground, he like wakes up and uh, he was the quickest to be alert. 
Mm -hmm. And he starts saying, no, 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 no. And he starts to glow. His skin starts to become like bright. And there's an incredible amount of heat coming off of him. Peace. <laughs> okay. Pieces. Yeah, no, I go to sub level four, <laughs> five. <laughs> Book. <laughs> you just go to five. Yep. Okay. And that's the end of that. It goes book. all the way to ten. Um, actually, yeah, if he looks like he might explode, he is definitely like. I, I go. Hot. I go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go straight to the bottom. Okay. You go straight to the bottom. Of surviving. Uh, you guys, as you reach the extraction point, you see a massive flash on the horizon, and uh, a shockwave is going to hit you. <laughs> I'm in the air. <laughs> I set off a nuke. <laughs> okay, uh, so level 10 doesn't matter. Roll dexterity in flight. <laughs> Combat maneuver to stay up. Yeah, don't crash. Good luck. Why would you say that? <laughs> Working on zero so far. <laughs> oh God! That Mega girl. deck, save me. A two. Two. Two's enough. You stay in the air. Like you don't wreck it and eat shit super hard. Yay! You're but, all of a sudden cartwheeling and yeah, stuff. Yeah, if you're like, like ah. you can hang on to her because you have a massive amount of mega strength. Yeah, we do. That. I wouldn't let her go. Why are you talking about? You can hang on to her. Uh, Matt, you're after all big strength athletics. Dex, athletics. Oh, look at that, Ryan! Dude, what the hell, man? Four I zero, can't, four tens. Like One, that. two, three, four. <laughs> five, six, five. Plus your megas. Five. Five. One, two, three. I need those dice, man. You've been rolling those dice. I need your luck. You guys can use soak for lethal, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, uh, can the brand cherub soak for lethal? Can I cover uh, her up? Yeah, you can cover up. You can shield her. Shield the cherub. Is man. my my base lethal soak is higher than that? Let's see. What happens if you cut your stats in half? Um, then I have to roll for a little bit of it. So two, uh, five down to two, basically. Uh, from your whatever your yeah stamina is, five mm -hmm. to two. I have a lethal soak of five. So if I cut it in half, it would be it's, two. So the Brian Cherub takes a couple of uh, health levels of lethal damage. Two. Bruised. Yeah, he's unhappy, but not dead. Yeah, he's saying. incapacitated, right? Nope. No, do it straight lethal. It doesn't go okay. down and back. I gotcha. Okay, you have to bash to incapacitate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to dump a fair amount into regening. Lethal damage. So you guys are out there for a little bit. And yeah, then... we'll get to the extraction point and um, land. After a little while, the jet swings around and picks you guys up. We did pick up a couple guns, right? Yeah. You guys never said that. I thought I did. You, he did. He That's did. why I, I stopped. Did. I said I want to. He said he did. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So you have two. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we got. I wanted okay. to. Okay. I mean, if you would have asked for him, you could probably got him from. No, I don't. The general guy. We've never seen these before. As I mean, he didn't mention it in the dossier. <laughs> the jet so pulls up and the ramp. Plops down in the back. You guys walk on. Well, it's our jet. I'm it's dumping general, yeah, regen points know. into growing that a new view. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to cost like eight. Easy. Um, so I did two for the healing and then one, two, three. All right, I'm there. So okay. did the him die that was in the facility? Okay. I like how we <laughs> took so many measures to not kill everyone. Yep. And then the exit. And then you kill everyone. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you kill everyone. <laughs> so you guys get onto the jet. As the jet's getting ready to fly away, uh, one of the crew members walks over, puts his hand on the girl's forehead, and she falls unconscious. Well, that was a little uncalled for. That was necessary. 
Secure the asset, he says to the other guys. I couldn't do it fast enough without any quantum. Okay, never mind. I mean, you could do something. Well, no, I mean, it's going to be before we got on the plane, but... It's... Oh, okay. What do you want to do? Not get on the plane. Really? Yeah. What do you do? I was going to... Can remind these two that our primary goal last week was to stop Sluice from stealing something very important. And now she's on another job to steal something very important. Uh -huh. And I don't know if she should end up with it. All right, so the, we're going to take back the Jets now here. Mm -hmm. So it's not your <laughs> And she's awake, right? Mm -hmm. She's looking at you guys. And we have a job to do ourselves. And a viable outcome was that they don't have her. Wait, so are we going rogue twice here? We're not going anything. Take the communicator out and I throw out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys crush the communicators. I'm <laughs> saying what about that was that was an acceptable option. Well, we wouldn't have any proof. Uh, <laughs> I can see the mushroom cloud. Yes, I see. We're fine. <laughs> Cypher 5, he's good. His <laughs> secrets are safe. Yeah, yeah I know what you're <laughs> Cypher strikes again. Okay. <laughs> Communicators are out. You can stop talking yeah. in code. Yeah, there's, there's no fingerprints. <laughs> we went in there without a plan, and we have like T minus 10 before the jets here. What's your plan? Feel like 5. Get her someplace off the grid. We are off the grid. Get her someplace off the grid that's not trying to chain her to the wall with quantum sapping electricity coursing through her body. The fuck are you talking about? The whole place was a, an experimental torture chamber. There were dozens of Novas there being experimented on. So maybe that's why they're trying to get her out. Very likely. I just don't imagine that I'm ready to hand over a six-year-old to another black ops, off-the-record kind of military organization. She goes, am I six? I guess I am six. That would make sense why I'm so small. I told you she talks pretty grown up. Do you get bigger? I don't know. Maybe. I think I've been bigger. That's good. I don't... Do you go on this plane? Huh? Do I go on... The jet that's coming here. Sometimes. Well, that's complicated. I don't know anywhere around here. Neither do I. I mean, we can go far away from here, but if we don't make the extraction. We died in the explosion? Maybe. Some of us. Oh my god, all so my we're, money! Here, speaking of some of us, where is uh, Rampart? Okay. Isn't he supposed to be somewhere over here? Why don't you, why doesn't so here's the weird somewhere? thing. We might want to stop here because I might be making a new character. Because I'm with Black Ops I was going to say, I was going to say, I'll get out. I'll go back. I'll get Rampart. We'll meet somewhere. Huh? That's not. That's not a plan. We got three <laughs> minutes. All right. Listen. If we go rogue off the grid, that's to the world, not just these guys. That's to everyone. No. We yeah. go back to our normal jobs. Our normal jobs was this. 
No, this is this is the side hustle. This is the hustle. No, this is the side hustle. Remember, you're you're uh, Mary, Derek, whatever, is doing this all off the record. Uh-huh. This has nothing to do with our million dollars a month. I don't think they would find you if you were living in the ivory tower. <laughs> I just go <laughs> back home. <laughs> <laughs> Cypher five strikes again. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Cypher five strikes again. <laughs> if we did this, we would lose everything. Everything. And for what? We don't know for what. We don't know for what. It would all be for a, a guess. Mm-hmm. Of what? I don't know. What so do you think about this, Mary? I can actually try to think up a new character and try to make that be <laughs> the way that they you guys get out. Decided any, they haven't decided yeah. anything. Wouldn't. Okay. I'm just uncomfortable with the idea of... Forge, a- you over your shock yet, buddy? Yeah. Here, you, you got something on your face there. Let me get it off. <laughs> I'm just like, they got the biggest eyes and <laughs> looking at both of you. This is why we don't go on these military <laughs> excursions. So As you want <laughs> no. to chime in? Yeah. We're going back. I'm going back. Going back where? Going back. We're, we're finishing the mission. And we're going to figure out from the inside... What the hell's going on? It's an option. All right, good luck, kid. Let me just wait. She looks sad. <laughs> she quietly sits there with her head down. Ah, oh, shit. There you go. Kid, finally, you, finally. <laughs> kid, do you want to go back there? Oh, my God. <laughs> back where? You know, like, uh, we're going to the States, yo. I'm sorry about what happens to you. What? It's not their fault. No! (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry what you did too, okay? They didn't know that that was going to happen. Well, who didn't know what was going to happen? Your friends. These guys? Maybe. Sometimes. Are you okay? No. No, of course not. And let's see. Sure. <laughs> we can stop here. Okay. Okay. You guys have to decide right now. We think we don't know. So next week. <laughs> I couldn't believe that no one was on board with saving the little girl. And I was like, maybe I'm hearing something wrong. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Roses and thorns. What do you guys think? Roses and thorns. Roses and thorns. Go, Matt. Um, <laughs> I guess my only thorn would be like, it took a little bit to get going. And then, like, everything was great, but it t- takes so long to, like, turns just takes, yeah, they just take so long. So, like, we just did like twenty minutes of action in four and a half hours, mm-hmm. so that gets a little bit daunting. And then you kind of check. I kind of check out for a little bit. Come back. I mean, I'm always listening, but it's just like. Mm-hmm. But but we yeah. split the party. But we did five, five the party. fucking ways. <laughs> five. Ways. You're five. welcome. And You're welcome. Four of us. Ways. First of all, you should blame Alex because he started it. Five <laughs> yeah. ways um, with four people. Five ways. But my rose would be finally we have something. It's so next week will be I think next week will be good. Uh hopefully maybe a little bit more character development, because I think that's I think we got some today. I, at least I did. <laughs> I felt a little developer. Let's see. My rose. I kind of like modern settings. It's a little different than fantasy, where you can take the real world into account. And, mm-hmm. for example, evacuation plans. There's got to be something posted up, right? I feel like I have a little more 
grip on reality when we're playing in a modern setting. So that's fun. My thorn is rolling ones. There's so, so many ones. So many ones. I hate ones, man. I was rolling lights out today. Yeah, you were. Um, I know. I felt like we did a little character development too. One of my problems is I've been in the military. I've been following orders my whole life, for better or worse. So we'll see what happens. I guess next week, maybe Brian will just aggravate and eat everyone. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's off the table apparently. Wait till we get on the plane. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like going rogue so early and so fast would definitely set us up for a different journey. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my character would do it or not. I gotta think more on it. Go ahead, Josh. Five ways. <laughs> five. That's my thorn. That's my rose too. That's your five thorns. <laughs> Is it the party five ways, like. I didn't. I didn't even think that that was possible up until you did it. I was like, "Oh man, it's from the party. That's okay. It's from the party again. Mm, it's probably not great." Wow, they just gone. Oh, there's five different ways you can split the party with Brian. Brian can actually split the party nine ways, right? Five, six, I, seven, eight, eight ways. I can go. No, at uh, Homunculus Five, I can split into ten or a swarm. So I could go ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We could go 13 ways. This is I was planning on doing that next week. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is payback, fucker. This is dumb. Remember so when I you guys even, split the party five ways? I don't even have ways? clone yet. <laughs> you guys split the party five ways, and you ended up in four different planes on me. So I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I feel that's, yeah. Okay, so that's my thorn. Rose, um, no, it was just fun watching how you guys, like, react to... Uh, situations where, like, you could easily kill everyone, but do you want to? Like, you know, uh, Alex tried hard not to hurt people. So did Brian. You obviously just like, fuck it. I think he panicked. Well, I guess my character probably panicked. I more or less was like, <laughs> it took like 45 minutes Combat's to get too long. to fuck anything. Everyone. It was just like, ah, I just want to be done with this. Sure. So fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah. You ate some guy in the bathroom. <laughs> didn't yeah, he didn't, didn't even try to stop no. killing things. There wasn't, I mean, well, it's like you went in like, this is going to happen. Yeah. This guy I assumed is that I was our moral race a few. compass. This guy. <laughs> I know, right? That's kind of fucked up. He's like, if we shouldn't do this bad thing, you're like, you eat people. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? I have a code. <laughs> <laughs> It's one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, man. So I don't know, but that was cool watching you guys like figure out how your characters would react to that sort of stuff. Right. I also liked that. I enjoy that there are things that yeah you wouldn't throw somebody out of a second story window and they'd be mostly fine and probably buy us a quiet entry. Mostly fine. Look. <laughs> However, <laughs> saucing randos, kicking doors at faces, popping skulls like zits, uh, popping whole platoons People. like zits. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We <laughs> like have to figure zipper. out the scale of damage. Again, it was like really dancing <laughs> on that bubble wrap. <laughs> he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Only messier. Uh -huh. It's just so hard to like, I don't know. Like I, I just get antsy. So you yeah. run I'm bored. I better go kill a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just get so antsy because we had it. If we had to like tiptoe around these guys because we don't want to kill them, then like that just takes way too long. <laughs> it just takes way too long. So the answer is to kill everyone. Yes. Everyone. We wouldn't have got this far. I am disappointed that all those. Novas I released probably got sauced, unless they are ridiculously sturdy. Not all of them. Some yeah, of them probably okay. the scariest ones. And some <laughs> of the sub levels might be okay, mm -hmm. depending on how sheltered they are from a nuclear fallout. Yeah. I'm going to have a backup character ready, and I'm going to make one that could survive the blast. So you're going to be do have, part two. I do no. have hard body adaptability and regeneration. 
if anyone's going to survive down there, it could be pieces of me. Yeah, some of you might have made it. I mean, you don't know. Yeah. yeah. But there's That'd certain... be interesting if, like, a month from now, some part of you crawls back to the rest of you. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I was really hoping that it would be Brian evil version versus Brian non-evil version. I mean, that could happen. Maybe yeah. it takes yeah. on a life of its own. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you left me to die. <laughs> That's the thing right there. But which one is he? <laughs> exactly. It's all about perspective. That's true. Is it my turn for roses so. and thorns? Okay. I'll say my rose uh, was watching it all play out when I knew I was safe. <laughs> like it I, sucks I'm, to be you <laughs> yeah. yeah like I was like okay I got away with two quantum I'm extracted I'm good and then just being like oh shit I don't know how I would handle that let's see how they do it <laughs> uh, and also once again Brian's character was very interesting to see how it went from oh good you guys got out and we kind of saw like 20 or 30 people, and... You know, it would have been about two without this guy. I was going to say, we did pretty good considering what our normally is, and then the nuke goes off, I'm like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal for us. We burned the town down. Yep. That's how it always goes with these things. I mean, that was not me. That's Josh deciding that <laughs> Rando I mean, was... You released a rando that was in a tube that you don't know what he did. Like, there was a good chance that at least a couple oh, of for, those for sure. I knew what I was doing. Probably had a decent idea that they were being suppressed for a reason. Yeah, yeah, because not the suppressors for, are evil bastards. No, I bet there was like they <laughs> couldn't control themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's at least how I read. But I wasn't there, so I don't know. But yeah. that's just how I read it. Yeah, I saw them as being Victims. subjected upon military experiments. I was seeing them as like Xavier's mansion being overrun by what's his name and Stryker. experimenting on. Yeah, Stryker's got them all. I mean, also true. Those things could both be true simultaneously. That, that's, uh, that's the thing. That was kind of what I thought. But I wasn't there. And now we have to make a big mm. choice next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring, probably bring back up characters. <laughs> <laughs> I might lean in and take Mr. Nobody. How many? How many experience? Mega charisma to ability. Was that where just no one? Or, or you just all? Uh, yeah, it gets rid of your Get supernatural appearance. Yeah. appearance yeah. Good. Just, mm. or you can buy more all the more quantum you want. Nothing. Go for it. All the powers. All the powers. Grid. And then I get any experience. Yeah, just occasionally come out. <laughs> Motor eight, hornets. Eight experience. <laughs> Now, what do we buy? I really like Mega Stats. Mega Stats are good. Like, they're great, actually. Well, Some they're of them are amazing. Great. They're great. They come with uh, cool enhancements. Mm -hmm. I really like some of the social ones. Mm -hmm. um, with the face of terror or the face of fear, whatever it's called. That was cool. There's some, some of the other books that are really amazing. The question one is in there. Do you remember seeing Deadpool? Yeah. The one girl who uh, joins him and it's like, Deadpool's like, no, Luck's not a superpower. Domino? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking at that and being like, whoa, I wonder if I could make a character like that. I mean, what's the... Luck's pretty cool. It's Luck a, is an it's ability. It's one power. Yeah. So it's... There's also is permanent. Premonition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could go to school. premonition and preacher cognition. The problem is, it says uh, once per scene they may ask to roll luck. Mm -hmm. So it's only once per scene. Once that per you can scene, as well as luck, a certain discretion of the character may roll luck. Sometimes better at the end, the character bits his own abilities. As well luck, each success achieves influences the outcome of other events. Exactly what happens if distorts other. But here are some guidelines. Combat. Player may divide successes he gets for luck in a given turn between his attack and his defense. Success adds to an attack, grant one die per success to make the attack and determine its effects. What if you make it with an extra? Extras are none. Oh, well, extras are none. You can make extras. That's yeah. part of the. the second What's precognition? It's where you see things ahead of time. What's it do for you, though? 
You see things ahead of time. Yeah, we would have seen not to fucking let everyone go and blow the place up. Or maybe that's what you were going for. Unless that's what we were going for, Brian. Premonition. <laughs> Premonition's a level two, right? And then Precognition is level three. Premonition is quantum point cost, logic, danger for one right, scene. I'm getting the poke to get back home. Okay. Go home, man. Yeah. Hey, did I give you the thing? No. Yeah, let's do that. Do we have a pen? Premonition is more like a danger sense. It's spidey sense, basically. Yeah. Oh, my kids squished it before I could get it out of the ass. It's okay. It's just. Pretty cognition allows you, you want to, to see your the pen future. Over here, bud? Do you want me to just sign it and you can fill it out, or sure? Because I don't know my policy numbers or anything. That's fine. You guys notice that Josh likes to throw helpless little girls at us that have mega cosmic powers? Huh. I, I guess there's theme. there's been two at least. Yeah. Two I've done it once. Two campaigns. That's true. And Alex did it once. You want to know why? Because you're less likely to kill little kids. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Keyword like that. Keep watching. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was what... Uh... That was on the table. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't let them have her. What does that mean? That only means one thing. <laughs> yep. Or okay, maybe. so I'm gonna have to call you and ask for this other stuff. Is that okay? I don't sure. have it with me. All right, guys. Sure. We'll see you next okay. week. Thanks for coming by. Have a great weekend.